That's in five minutes. Show starts in four minutes. Click, then say, Go Ronald. Why do I have to click? Mm -hmm. Go Ronald. Settings. Go Ronald. Go Ronald. Go Ronald. Go Ronald. Oh, wow. Go Ronald. Go, Ronald. Where do I click? Settings. Go, Ronald. Go, Ronald. Go, Ronald. Go, Ronald. Go, Ronald. Go, Ronald. I'm clicking a lot. Go, Ronald. Go, Ronald. Show starts in three minutes. Get yourself ready for a trip through McDonald Land. Take a love friend and grab a hold of Ronald's hand. Show starts in two minutes. Show starts in one minute. This is soap. You can wash your face with it. This is cleansing cream. You can cleanse your face with it. This is Bactine medicated skin cream. It is a new thing. It is a washing cream. You wash your face with it. Uh-oh. Catch him. Oh! I wish... Mrs. Porter, I've got the next best thing. A new invention from Procter & Gamble. It absorbs... Like magic, it's made a unique new way from a special formula of six ingredients spun into a wonderful new towel. Oh! Sort of feels different too, doesn't it? Go ahead, pop it. Oh! Hurry, get new bounty. It absorbs like magic. 
And now, ladies and gentlemen, time for the show. Once again, thank you for coming to our theater tonight. Have an enjoyable evening. The refreshment stand will remain open for a short time. Still plenty of time to get a snack or cold drink. We'll make an announcement before the stand closes to give you plenty of time to get that last-minute treat. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Happy Wednesday. How's it going out there in McDonald land? Chef Ian. I did film uh, Brutal Foods yesterday. So that's coming along. Uh, Seismic Coin, thank you for the 57 months. Ribbons 89, thank you for the 46 months. Uh, Ellie Dora, thank you for the 10 months. Uh, Ar Armagarin, thank you for the 12 months. Drowning in Projects, thank you for the 22 months. Jimmy San 2, thank you for the 55 months. And Cheese Larry, thank you for subscribing. Uh, if you're just wandering in here, weren't here on Monday, uh, this is the humongous reel. We have played, uh, we played Pajama Sam 1, Putt Putt 1, and the first two Freddy Fish games on Monday. And I'm ready to start chipping away Corn at the dogs. other games. Corn Dogs, Sassy Glasses, thank you for the 300 bits. I just need this. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. I think MJ's leaving, by the way. Oh, she's in inspecting the fan mail for now. Uh, Fatty Bear's not on the wheel because I'm going to be playing it next month uh, for my birthday. And then Blue's Clues is not on the wheel because I forgot. <laughs> Blue doesn't show up when you look up like branding elements of junior adventures blue doesn't show up in them it's always these four so i didn't even i didn't even think about it let's explore the airport is humongous yeah i don't think those are considered junior adventures though we could maybe do some spin-offs after i mean if we finish all these games and we still want more uh who knows okay let me let let me let mj out and then uh and then we'll spin the wheel Okay. Schlang, Schlange. 4164. Thank you for subscribing. And Hail Halibut. Thank you for subscribing. You just finished Furby Land in the bottle. Well, Furby Land was a great game. Blue's a TV star. She's different than these guys. That's true. That's true. All of these guys could have had their own TV show, honestly. Okay, let's see what we're going to play. Ooh, going back to PJ Sam. Spy Fox is like, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, give me a second here. Watch us do all of them and then... Uh... <clears throat> And then hit Spy Fox just at the very, very end. Uh, hold on. How do I do... Off. Part. Is it F5? Hold on. I forget how to do... Uh, window mode. Scum VM window mode. I'll switch it over here for now. I can't see the chat, so behave. There was definitely a toggle. Uh, alt enter, alt enter. There we go. Uh, there's that. Boom. Why is everybody saying eat a cock? What's did I did I forget something? What <laughs> what is what is happening? 
Uh, how did I do? Oh, is it just? There we go. They're misbehaving. Oh, the Furby. Oh, the Furby game. That's true. That's that is true. I I remember that now. I think. <laughs> okay, I think we're good to go. I think we're good to go. <sighs> Hold it right there, Earthquaker. Stop that evil doing. Your low calorie threats mean nothing to me. Who's hungry today? Take this one's. Oh, wait, no, this one's not food. PJ Sam, Sam 3 is food. Whoa! And stop. Yeah, this one's weather. Who's you and your ready for weather? Are no match for the <laughs> foul weatherman. Now, we shall take the cosmic eraser, and with it, we shall control the world! Not so fast, Dust Devil! Giddy, 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 giddy. Yeah. Go, man. Yeah. I'll spin you to the four yes. corners of the earth, do gooder! My handy dandy pajama man superpower back says different! Pajama man, you say Exactly! Alright! They almost said you suck. That's not It's not very PG. It's okay. It's just a little under lightning. Thunder and lightning aren't so frightening. Thunder and lightning aren't so frightening. Uh-huh. <laughs> I always liked Thunder and Lightning. So, uh, Sam just needs to get it together. Lightning aren't so frightening. Are we sure? Scared. <laughs> Someone's got to go upstairs and do something about this weather. This looks like a job for Pajama Sam. Eh. I know eh. I left my Pajama <laughs> Sam cape around here somewhere. I better find it. All right. I've got to be on the lookout for pieces to my puzzle. Okay, so we're collecting puzzle pieces this time. Do me a favor, give me a moment to find them on my own, but if I if I miss one, uh, feel free to go sock! Sock! Nothing in here. See... Man, I love, like, the lighting of this screen. Nothing it's going to get bright here in a second. <laughs> Found yourself yelling sock today while doing laundry because they kept falling on the floor. Pajama Sam is ready for action. Now I can go upstairs and take care of all this thunder and lightning. <laughs> I better get upstairs and do something about that. I mean, I'm just going to make the argument that he already seems less afraid. I mean, it just thundered and lightning right there, and he was fine with it. So why do we need to go on the adventure in the first place, right? <laughs> oh, thanks for uh, installing Twitch to watch my stream, Tony. Thank you very much. Oh, my God. That's me when I was little. Well, little is, I mean, subjective. <laughs> okay, here I go. He was an orb. Pajama Sam is gonna put a stop to this thunderstorming once and for all. His brother Mark has been written out. Mark has to be some type of problem child or something. They never want there's he's never in any photos. Nobody's ever talking about Mark. So this is where all the weather comes also, from. Also, it seems Thunder like lightning must work not a good idea to let your, uh, you know, your young child run around in the attic, especially if they're 
you know, jumping on clouds as he just did. I mean, if he jumps on the insulation and, and goes through the ceiling, uh, that's not good. It says worldwide weather. Thanks, Sam. Thank you. Watch out, thunder and lightning. Pajama Sam is coming. TMI, Sam, TMI. Does an old insulation hurt? Probably. Falling through the ceiling also would hurt, I would think. A crowbar. I bet this will come in handy. It's so bright. Ah. If your kid falls through the ceiling, I bet they won't jump around in the attic again. That's true. That's true. Sometimes we learn lessons the hard way. That's funny. I think it's empty. Can I crowbar it open? <gasps> oh, right, right. Well, I didn't even try. Oh, okay. I should have talked to the gate. I didn't talk to that guy either. Puzzle! <laughs> Kids play with crowbars. That's fine. Kids can play with crowbars, though. I'm all right with that. Hey, a puzzle piece. I should pick those up. Uh, there we go. There we go. Worldwide Weather Employee Identification Card. Foster Boondoggle. Do not lose this card. Maybe there's a lost and found somewhere where I can turn... Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I'll just take this. I'm gonna go... To, I'm gonna... I not go out that way. I might not be able to get back in. Ah. Oh, well, I can't go talk to the guy. Okay, inward to the... Woo -woo -woo. Welcome to Worldwide Weather, sir. Thanks. Thank you. How many of you guys got phone sonas? What's your is your phone sona? Uh, weather, cell phone, rotary phone. If you know the extension, you wish. Pay phone. You may dial it at any time. Ooh, engage. Good choice. Operation or directions to Worldwide Weather. Flip phone. To suggest a new kind of weather, press two. To reach our complaints to oh, it's talks too much. Talks too much. It's some kind of lock. Mm. <laughs> uh oh, I think it ate the card. I hope it wasn't too important. Dude, Foster Boondoggle is fucked. Ah! Thunder! Thunder, there's someone in here! Call security! Oh, calm down, would you, dear? It's just a little boy. Uh-huh. I'm Pajama Sam! I've come to put a stop to this thunderstorming business. Oh, yeah. I think we've really outdone ourselves this time. Isn't it wonderful? Once again, he doesn't seem afraid. He seems, I like, bothered. A good storm. And it will be so helpful for the plants and things. I never... <laughs> to plants and things. Yeah. No! Oh, no! Not the red button! 
undersized as fuck. Engaging primary state connect mechanism. Shifting power to backup generators. This is underground and of truth. Adjusting horizontal hold. That should hold it for now. Damage report. Looks like a few pieces have been shaken loose. Oh my gosh! Look at this weather! <laughs> so it's like, why she got an L on her shirt? This ah. <laughs> is going to take everything we've got. Um, can I help? Help! No one can help! We're doomed! Doomed! Quiet! As a matter of fact, L for <laughs> Luigi. Lightning and I have important work to do here, so we need you to help fix the weather machine. How do I do that? This is a list of pieces that have come off the machines. We need you to find them and put them back where they belong. Mm -hmm. Never fear, ma'am. A Jamma Sam always helps people in need. It's not a person, it's a cloud. I'm glad you made it here for a live stream. Uh, Zim? Okay, eat the donut. Hey, is that a donut? Yes, it's a donut. No, you can't have it. Well, good thing he just, just touched all over it. Okay, so we got uh, Seattle's nice and sunny. What a tragedy. It's snowing at, at Hawaii. Oh, hold on. The weather's all fucked up. Well, she's off to go to sleep. <laughs> her brief, her brief time on screen. Memo to employees for appointment style six zero zero. What does that spell? <laughs> okay, so I remember... Hello again, sir. It does kind of spell boo, huh? Uh, I remember that we got to get appointments. I kind of remember this one. I've played this one maybe two, three times. Hi, I'm Pajama Sam. I'm helping... Do you have an appointment? Appointment? Certainly. You can't see anyone without an appointment. Oh. This is the second sentient chair that we've seen. Um, what a life. I'd like to make an appointment. I'm sorry. You'll have to call for an appointment. Excuse me? Appointments are by telephone only. Oh. Oh, it's Otto. I'm doing it. I'm floating. Classic. Dish soap fancier. How to handle that baked on cheese. Airline food fancier. Cheese substitutes made from plastic. <laughs> Rock fancier. Train your pet rock to fetch using cheese. Okay. Say, I don't think this belongs here. I'd better hang on to it so I can figure out where it goes. <laughs> I don't think this is supposed to be here. It's mine now. All right. Hello again, sir. Welcome to the... Shut up. Well, my mother, how may I help you? I'd like to make an appointment to see someone. Certainly. Let me check his calendar. Yes, Mr. Saman is available immediately. I'll pencil you in. What is your name? I'm Pajama Sam. I'm helping. Very good, Mr. Sam. <laughs> I'm Mr. Saman will see you just as soon as you arrive. Goodbye. Yeah, right? Uh, Domo Toast, thank you for the 13 months. Why win? Thank you for the 63 months. Cheeseburger Zombie, thanks for the prime sub. And Alice D'Angelo, thank you so much for the 27 months. 
Thanks for the early stream. I might not be able to subscribe for a while after this month. Wishing everyone here a happy day. Thank you so much, Alice. And not a problem. I'm just happy uh, you're here to watch. Uh-huh. That phone kind of hot? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. This is a uh, Freddy Fish school teacher situation all over again. I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know about that. Hi, I'm Pajama Sam. I have an appointment. I'm helping. Phone oh, fuckers. Go right on in, Mr. Sam. Mr. Someone is ready for you. Thanks. People, I mean, t people got to have a phone sona. Someone, someone out there has a phone sona. <laughs> Way hotter phones out there. <laughs> Suck! <laughs> okay. It's too early for this. It's too early. There we go. That's probably right. Tumblr decided the clock from Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared was hot. Well, Tumblr... Tumblr's... Everyone on Tumblr just wants to fuck inanimate objects because they're so lonely, obviously. Mm. <laughs> uh, so, does this guy talk to me? I do have a Tumblr. I was very active on it until I stopped being lonely, and now I'm not so active anymore. <laughs> I remember this guy. Hi, I'm Pajama Sam. Who sent you? I'm working very hard. You'd be amazed what a difficult job it is being in charge of, 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 of all, all the supplies. I'm sure it is. George someone sent you over here to, 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 to check up on me, didn't he? He thought you'd catch me not doing my job so he can get that, that big promotion, right? No, nobody sent me over here. Nobody? Uh-huh. Really? Really. Well, huh. I, really... I do like the building design of of like they put they put walls and dividers and like floor pieces around hey, but there's still open one. sky i i like that all right yeah you can fall to your death at any time much like an attic maybe that's maybe that's intentional because if he imagines floor here and steps uh do i have an attic i think so I haven't been up there so I don't know if it's like a proper attic or if it's just like a space can I have a red ball boy? there's something up there no. <laughs> there's definitely something up there can I have a piece of paper no the paper is going to be recycled can I have a number two pencil no I have to keep those in case I have to take a test can I have a highlighter pen? I know most no. of my own house. Those are on double secret reserve. You go into your attic. Can I have a paper clip? No. Somebody might need them. I will. <laughs> Employee of the month. Can I have one of these? Absolutely. Take it. I don't want to go up in the attic. I don't want to find a, another situation that uh, can you keep a secret needs fixing. I accidentally ordered a thousand of those when I was only supposed to get a dozen. Whoops. I'm trying to get rid of them before anyone notices. Take a few more. Thanks, but I think <laughs> yeah, I don't want to find a teal toddler. Exactly. Oh, all right. All right. I guess I'm giving someone a a prize. Oh, 
My, you must be Pajama Sam. Uh-huh. I'm George Someone, the personnel manager. Glad to see you could get here so quickly. No problem. Yeah, but why? You look like you're thinking about something. You're right. I'm trying to figure out what keeps clouds up in the air. Maybe it's a thread. What do you mean? The clouds. Maybe they hang them up with thread. Then what's the thread hanging from? Hmm. Good point. Mr. Someone, I have an idea about the clouds. Yeah? What's that? Maybe they can float because they have balloons inside. I don't think e so any of this is correct. On to something there. Hmm. Sock! There's one. Sam. It's blank. I must be non photo blue. What do you keep in the file cabinet? Files mostly. Okay, well, hold on. I think I need to go to the into the boardroom. I don't know, uh, I don't really know why I need to talk to this guy yet. Ah, let's do kitchen first. Let's do kitchen first, though. Uh, Phantom Susboom, thank you very much for the two months. Thank you, thank you. Okay, can opener. Sock! Another one. Hey, Rio! I'm always grooving, man. Sam Dub One, thank you very much for the six dollars and change. Hey, Ian, thanks for the super fun streams. Hope this can be retooled so we can have some more streams with wheels to spin. Uh, I'll do my best. Thank you so much, Sam. I do like spinning wheels and using the doors. Y pipe? Yes. Why do you ask? I thought so. I've been looking for you. You have. Why? I'm looking for all the important pieces to the weather machine. Are those chips called really? squinch? Why? So I can put you all back and fix the machines. Why would you want to do that? Because all the weather everywhere is going crazy, and thunder and lightning are in trouble, and, and it's sort of my fault. What did you do to cause all of that? Never mind that now. It's not is it cheese giblets? You come with me. I'd love to, but I can't get out of this vending machine by myself. Think you could help me out? Pajama Sam never abandons someone who needs help. Thanks, that's good to know. <laughs> it does say squinch. I don't see worm doodles in there, no? I don't see, uh... You know, the asteroids are coming. Only a matter of time. Yeah. Lucille, I love you, gal. Where you been? Uh-huh. <laughs> You'd be amazed how little respect I get. Well, I wonder why that is, huh? I could have been a contender. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, there's a can opener in here. I don't have a can. Weird how things can age. That's why going back and watch and playing and watching old stuff is I so beg fun. Your pardon? Never mind. We were expecting someone else. Just dust around the picture frames for now. You can vacuum later when we've finished. Dust? But I Perhaps we should try to come up with more questions for the employee mm, quiz a hamburger. while we wait for Mr. Hafford. Yeah. Uh, okay, how about this? Who played the monster in the original movie version of Frankenstein? That's not a very business-like question, is it? No, I suppose not. So is this guy just one of the boards? Because we got uh, we got the dancing furniture. You ask them what the difference is between a ruble and a rupee. You mean besides the spelling? <laughs> beep, 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 beep. And good day to you as well. Yes, trees only. Trees only. I never have anyone to play with. Maybe we can play some more. But I never have anyone to play with. Yeah, you know, we promised to go back and play with Darkness and be well, friends with them, this? but we actually, we never hang out with You're them. You're the boss, right? I'm the chairman of the board, yes. How come you guys don't have chairs? 
We should have something to sit on, but there seems to be a little problem getting that organized. All in due time. Don't you guys get uncomfortable standing up all the time? Yeah, I'm stiff as a board. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, how come you have a hat in the middle of the table? Oh, we're putting our questions in it. Questions? We're making a quiz to give people when we interview them for jobs. Say, you look pretty typical. How'd you like to help us test the questions? What do I have to do? To answer questions? questions out of a hat and see if you can answer them. That sounds easy enough. Go ahead and choose a question. What two things combine to make hmm. water? Hmm. Uh, hydrogen and oxygen. Ice and heat. We were thinking of hydrogen and oxygen, but we'll give you that one for being clever. Would they have just said no if We're I said going. milk and cookies? Try another one. Okay. I'm ready to go ahead with the test now. All right then. Go ahead and name something you would wear when it's raining. Uh, mittens. Wear an umbrella? And I'd wear an umbrella. Well, you wouldn't really wear an umbrella so much as carry it. I think something like galoshes. Don't tell me, don't tell me how I wear my umbrella, okay? You don't know I me. Guess that was kind of a hard one. Let's throw it out. I'll put in another one. Do I have an umbrella hat? Yeah. Go ahead. And <laughs> yeah, I do. Obviously, I mean, you guys can picture me walking around uh, outside with a with an umbrella hat. You know, Seattle they don't they don't like it when you have umbrellas. Uh, you look like an outsider, but umbrella hats. They're like, now there's a guy uh, who's from around here. What is the smallest coin used in the United States of America? Do I have a propeller hat? Yeah, that's how I'm getting to New York next month for the wedding. I'm using my propeller hat. Uh. The dime. The penny. Yes, it is the penny. All right, you got it. I was trying to be smart, but they okay. just said yes. Go ahead and choose a question. An area where there is very little water is called what? A forest. A desert. Yes. Desert. Looking for very dry places. Looking for a fun answer, but those are all boring. Way to go! Try another one. Okay. Go ahead. Name How much does this job pay? There is a tornado. Uh. Well, we all love places in the heart. Twister. Yes, very good. There certainly was a tornado in that one. Well, I think we've got a pretty good start on our quiz. Thank you very much, young man. You're welcome. Now, on to new business. I thought I was going to get the hat. Color scheme for the executive washroom renovation this spring. Are there any suggestions? Okay. I don't know. We'll come back to them. Uh, uh. Well, we need money to get the Y pipe. And then I think everything else is in the um in this other area over Hello here. Hello again, sir. Hello again, sir. Suck! Wow, look at all that! I didn't know making weather was so complicated. Another one! Do I just have the one puzzle on this? I feel like I already have so many pieces. I don't know what it is. It's like some salt shaker with an antenna on it, I guess? Oh, that's it. Onwards. Uh, Blacketh, thank you for the five months. And Katniss Tangerine, thank you so much for the six months. That tornado's carrying a car. Another one. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I remember getting kind of lost here. I'm looking for mushroom guy. Uh, what the f bowling pin man and wing nut. Bum, 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 bum. Wing nut. I always real. I never liked the background song in this one. Too many timpanies, you know. I miss my, uh, I miss my smooth jazz. Here's another one. Here's another one. <laughs> Too many timpanies tempt me. Mute <laughs> the music and play smooth jazz. Hi, Snowflake Inspector. You're the automated Snowflake Inspector? No, Inspector Detector. Call me, Sid. It's shorter. You look awfully tired. I'm feeling a bit run down. I need something to eat. Well, don't we all, Sid? Don't we all? Uh. Oh, that's a strong wind. I know there's a way to rotate this thing. I'm not totally sure how. You had what did you have for dinner? I want food. This must be where the velocimometer goes. Obviously, obviously. Okay. This must be what I turn? I know I turn something to blow the clouds away. Boy, I can't see a thing over here. Ooh, hot dogs. Oh, BLT. Aww. Dude, I could go for a BLT. Okay, let's keep going. Did everyone just eat? What up, Lupin? Uh, you have missed nothing. Did I miss a did I miss a sock? Uh, we're currently playing pretend in the attic. There's one. Um, gathering puzzle pieces that we call socks. Trying to fix the weather. It's too sunny in Seattle. It needs that needs to be corrected. Let's make banana. Oops. I guess we're gonna need apple seeds for something. I'm not sure what. Oh yeah, Lupin, what's your phone Sona? That's another thing. We uh, we all came up with our, our own phone Sonas. Because there's a very uh, attractive phone in the, in the lobby here. Everyone decided was, uh, wow, that's you know, just really hot. <laughs> OMG, stop chewing so loud. Thank you for the $6 and change. Food you're supposed to play with. Uh, forgot it was a streaming day. Happy to watch you and avoid doing work. Happy to have you here. Enjoy avoid doing work. I gotta do... I gotta mow and, and work on my video now. I filmed, uh... I filmed the Brutal Foods yesterday. I want to go through all my footage and see what I got. Oh. 
Yeah, I'm g a video. Hey, I Zach! found one. It is a no. It's it is a salt and pepper shaker with an antenna. Do they make a banana for brutal foods? Yeah. Hi, I'm Pajama Sam. How do you do? I'm Jay Langston the Third. You may call me Langston. Okay, Langston. You can call me Sam. With pleasure. What's in this big book you've got? <gasps> Just snowflakes. That's a lot of snowflakes. Everyone ever made, actually. It's not a very exciting read. What? How come you have to look at all those pictures of snowflakes? Well, quality control. No two snowflakes can ever be alike, you know. So you have to check every one to be sure they're not? I'm afraid so. He missed like three during this conversation. A uh, flaker maker. Obviously, we gotta like do some of these. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Well, <laughs> sucks. <laughs> I, I'll make another one next time I, uh... Zack! Hey, I found one! That was originally named Langston Popsicle the Third, but they had to change it when H.E. learned that the term Popsicle is trademarked. So they had to redo all of his dialogue. Well, that's fun. <laughs> I guess it makes sense that Popsicle is trademarked, but it's a bit of a bummer. The book sounds like it rules. You want to you want to read a book uh, full of just a bunch of snowflakes? This must be where the wingnut goes. Yep. Uh I don't remember which goes where. I suppose if it was gonna make oh all fuck the money now. Gonna make all the money now. Like really high res, high def snowflakes. I could see that. Hey, I found one. Amex Wolf, thank you for the twenty dollars. Hey Amex. Hey Ian, glad I could actually catch your stream today. Just barely missed it the other day. Hope everyone is having a good week. Give MJ some rubs for me. Thank you so much, Amex. I will. She's asleep right now, but uh, I'll pass those along. Thank you very much. Uh, okay. Liquid sunshine. Ingredients. Sun. Use with caution. Okay, that's what I use the can opener for. I don't really remember... What I use the sun for? Is today a Domino's day? Oh man, I wish. Probably not. There's one! Trying to cut back on the Domino's. <laughs> Ate a lot of Domino's while the kitchen was was fucked up. I need to I need to dial back the Domino's. Okay. What's the other things I'm looking for? It's telling you what the sun is used for a spoiler. Yes, that would be. I know there's a building that we haven't been in yet that's not in this area I gotta check out. What if you all get dominoes? The thing is, I'm just not gonna be satisfied because I... I would eat, try and eat less of Domino's, but when I get Domino's, I like to just eat it all. <laughs> I'm a streamer eating nothing but takeout as part of the job. It's true. It's true. I'm feeling the uh, results of, <laughs> of that behavior lately. 
Uh, on a on a related note, I'm back on the rowing machine, so that's nice. Anonymous, thank you so much. Hello again, sir. For gifting those five subs to Sage Sat, Senki Derg, Feolin, Goddess Zenith, Snow Like Stars, and May May three one three. Thank you so much. Please Anonymous Gifter. Right at home. I would gain so much weight if I had a Domino sponsorship. It's true. I gained a lot of weight without one. <laughs> okay, so we need a hard hat for here. Yeah, that's the hot phone. Here, we'll go... We'll go talk to the hot phone a little bit. I guess that's where they keep the hail. Welcome to Worldwide Weather, sir. See, look. Welcome to the Worldwide Weather Automated. He's got that, uh, like kind of a tall face, cross eyed, kind of a numerical panel for a nose type of thing. Everyone loves a, a, a numpad for a nose. He's curvy. <laughs> Um, he's, uh, used to sitting on a long pole for, you know, extended periods of time. Everything you could want. <laughs> okay, I need a hard hat. I'm sure this thing belongs somewhere. Yeah, well, no shit. Good day, Mr. Sam. <laughs> Is that a desirable trait in a partner? Every trait is desirable in a partner. There's no negative traits. <laughs> Literal phone sex. Ah! <laughs> wow, that's bright. Mom always said not to look at the sun. Zing! <laughs> um, oh, you know what? I think I get... I think I actually use, like, a canned earthquake or something to get... Whoever gets this... That guy loose. I haven't seen the other guys yet. I don't remember where they're at. Uh, you have not missed any gift... Uh, gifts. Games. This is the first game we're playing today. Hello again, sir. What color do you turn if you're blue and get a sunburn? That's a good question. You think you turn like a darker shade of blue? I guess that would be more like a tan. He turns ocean blue for a tan. And... Yeah, purple. I could see purple. Dude. Uh, Gokai Orange, thank you for gifting a sub to Phone Fucker. And Anonymous, thank you so much for gifting those 10 subs. Uh, Need for Sleep, Anma Ofra. Mogonical, Radical Reset, Ideas for Breakfast, Batty, Baka, Grim, Provis, Awake in 88, Ian, Alem, and G.I. Georgie. Thank you for uh, being gifted a sub. Thank you so much for being gifted a sub. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you uh, to the anonymous gifter. Thank you so much. Okay, this is not... Getting closer to the goal, what's the prize? Oh, you mean for uh, 1500 I'll do another, uh, either a pizza party or a sandwich party when we hit uh, 1500 Shouldn't be the, there be a hype train? I have those turned off. I don't like to get hype.
Yeah, we did Domino's party last time. But su Subway Sandwich Party would be interesting. Can you, can you guys imagine me? We just got the hype train going. Let's try and keep that hype train alive, guys. <laughs> oh, this is the same place. I don't want to imagine that. <laughs> he done some. <laughs> yeah, I'm the op I'm just like, calm down. Everybody stop. We've got enough subs, actually. <laughs> Let's chill out. Watch an old VOD where I got raided and it was funny how visibly uncomfortable I got. Yeah, I didn't... I didn't, uh handle raids super well. <laughs> okay, get me out of here. That's why I turned them off. They started, honestly, they made me, they started making me mad, honestly. It's like a nice thought. Like, from the streamer to send viewers somewhere. I think that's very nice. But it's everyone spamming Everyone's spamming the things. It throws off... It, it threw off my groove. Okay, maybe I gotta go talk to... Oh, wait, no, no. He wants sun. This guy wants sun. Hold on. Remember the early days when we'd send you raiding? I feel like back then we would raid just like people I knew though, you know? Here, have some sun! Mmm. <laughs> Thanks. That hit the spot. Suddenly reminded of Piss Putt. Well, I've got to go and find Flaky. I mean, the inspector. He needs me. I'm looking for him too. Maybe we could look together. I can do the detecting if you'll carry me with you. Okay. Oh, yeah. Proton John did raid me recently, and I was like, what the fuck is happening? And we started, like, banning people. <laughs> We're like, I don't know what's going on here, but something's wrong. <laughs> the, inspector's... the inspector's far away from this room. All right, let's go far away. Mm, what a hamburger. Yeah, well, yeah, I got apologetic when I realized what was going on, but I was like, what the fuck is happening? Warmer. Warmer. Oh, we put it into shield mode. Okay, we, I don't, yeah, that's right. We didn't ban anybody. We put it into shield mode because I thought I was getting spammed. <laughs> Colder. Colder. Pajama Sam is Bobby Hill. They're the same person. Someone, uh, someone in the last VOD was like, the Bobby Hill voice is driving me crazy. <laughs> the inspectors. Warmer. Warmer. And never show my face on a Proton John stream. It's okay. I, t I talked to him after, and was like, "Hey, thanks for that. Sorry, I sorry I completely botched your raid. I didn't know what was happening because I haven't been raided in five years." Warmer. Hello again. Sir. Hello again, sir. Did you hear that uh, Bobby's gonna be like twenty-one in the reboot? Are they gonna make him sound the same, or like what's warmer? The inspector's nearby. The inspector's nearby. Seems strange. I, I just want a lot of uh, Peggy. I just need. I need it to really. It should just be the Peggy Older. show. Oh. 
Welcome. To <laughs> he sounded exactly the same. I think it is the same uh, uh, voice cast. Warmer. The in foot. Hey, Mr. Sam. Mike, Mike Judge is a good writer. That's true. I'll, I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to give it a shot. Warmer. I can't say I'm, like, excited for it, but... Well, Dale's going to be the same voice. I just don't know. I don't think they've said if they're going to recast him for future episodes. I don't think they've called her. said one way or the other. They said they, that he recorded some of his lines. Oh, Queen of the Hill. Yeah, I would watch that. I would watch a Peggy-centric King of the Hill reboot. Absolutely. He's in this room! You know who they should get to replace Dale Gribble? They should just put me in there. Like, the whole, uh, the whole character. Get Dale out of there, just put me in there. Hey, it's me! I'm, I'm on this hill, and I'm, I'm the king! Propane? No, I would have to be a paranoid guy. Or, I mean, inspector. It's nice to see you. Hello, Sid. This is Pajama Sam. He helped me find you. Hi. Delighted. Well, I'm sure glad we found you. You've got to come back to the snow machine with us right away. No way. No way. I'm not going back there. They don't <laughs> appreciate me. This could be a problem. Don't worry. I'll think of something. The worst character to be added to the series. I would love that. I would love to be the reason that the King of the Hill reboot tanked. Everybody just just hates me because I'm there. <laughs> Inspector, you've got to come back with us. The weather is all messed up. I don't care. I'm not working for those oafs anymore. They don't appreciate the effort I make. Oh, here, have this ribbon I found in the trash. Inspector, look! You've been named Employee of the Month. <laughs> employee of the Month? Me? <laughs> They like me. They really like me. They sure do. I'm so happy. I can't wait to get back to my post and all those wonderful... Pajama stuff. Sam is the guy that taught me to just like. lie to people you, uh, to get them to do what you want to do. That's <laughs> Sam is where I learned that lesson. You made him very happy. Thank you. You're welcome. Will you be coming with us to the yeah, He's very happy. Everyone oh, still hates him. I'll catch up. Uh, but he was briefly happy, yes. <laughs> Explains a lot about how I am today. It's true. Yes, I know about the toilet Easter egg, yes. Hello again, sir. Hello again, sir. Toilet Easter egg. Yeah, Sam will go take a shit on the toilet in this game. You know, these uh, management is going to be like, oh, we could just give employees trash ribbons and they'll work harder. It's a great idea. Thanks, Sam. Yeah, trash ribbon. The, the employee of the month ribbon we just gave to this guy was all a lie. It was a it was a ribbon we found in the trash. <laughs> Pajama Sam came up with pizza party bonuses. Where does this guy go? Does he go here? I think the inspector works at the snow machine. Oh. Maybe I should start up subscriber of the months. Who wants to hold on here? I can do that. Yo. Uh Zopstrosity one, thank you so much for the two dollars and change. Just needed to grab a hot dog. Was also wondering what's everyone's favorite Dreamcast game other than Sonic Adventure and Shenmu. Uh Mm -hmm. I don't know. 
Sonic Shuffle. <laughs> uh, Crazy Taxi is pretty good. I, I, Crazy Taxi to me is an arcade game though, right? Bass fishing's pretty good. You've taken away the ones that I like, so I'm not totally sure. Hold on, hold on one second. Oh wait, hold on, I gotta get Nightbot out. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna pick a, I'm a subscriber of the month in a bit here. Or I guess it's... I'm ready to get back to work now. Yeah. I love my job. That's nice. Okay, snow machine. Who's that? Is that Rosie? Hey, Ayla Rosebud, thank you for the 15 months! Currently mentally preparing for an Animorphs Free Friday. The promise of more humongous wheel helps. Yeah, what am I gonna do? Uh, what am I gonna do tomorrow? Or not tomorrow, Friday. Maybe I'll just start reading Animorphs again. Yeah, I will stream earlier. That's, that's the real answer is that I'll stream earlier. Inspector! Are you uh, coming back to work? Oh, yes! Then I'm so glad to see you. And I, you. Now stand aside and let me do my job. With pleasure. I don't know how you did it, but you have my heartfelt gratitude. Oh. I lied. Thing. I lied. <laughs> Sorry, we didn't mean to startle you. You fixed the snow machine. Yes, I did. That's so great. Yes, according to our weather monitors, things are already looking a little better. We wanted to tell you you were doing a good job. Didn't it just mean there's snow everywhere? I'm happy to help. That's good, because there are still three more machines to be fixed. There's plenty to do here as well. I'll take care of those other machines right away. Very good. Bye now. Bye. Can they see us all the time? Do I look all right? How no, dude. You got a pickle for a nose. You look awful. Oh, hey! X Chaka, you're the subscriber of the month. Didn't you win the fake <laughs> name pull that I did last time? Congratulations, someone won it. Uh, you win nothing. <laughs> You win a, a fake trash ribbon. Uh, yeah, you can you can put it on your CV. You can put it wherever you want. You can put it back in the trash if you'd like. Okay, I need canned earthquake. I need a hard hat. <laughs> without chat support. <laughs> subscriber of the month. It's actually doing subscriber of the month would would uh, would spawn more trouble uh, than benefits. I feel like I feel like people would get upset uh, about subscriber of the month. Uh, Sir Nicolo, thank you for subscribing. Scon. Antony, Scont Antony, thank you for the three months. Claxicorn, thank you for the 14 months. And Bucky FGC, thank you so much for the 11 months. 
Where do I find these other guys? Ooh, ban whoever is sub of the month. Well, I like that. How do we feel about that one? Okay, I gotta go in the drain. That's right. Hello? Is somebody out there? Hello? <laughs> Who's there? Why, it's Wingnut, of course. Wingnut? By Chuck. <laughs> I'm glad I found you. I'll bet. I am the most important piece of the sun machine, after all. Are you stuck down there? No, but I'm kind of lost. You'll have to come down here and get me out. I have to come down the drain? Yeah! Well, okay. But just... Well, where else is it gonna go? What's a pajama Sam? Okay. <laughs> I gotta... Do I have to... There we go. Okay. Going down the drain would have scared you so bad. I mean, I don't want... I'm not particularly jazzed about it myself. Ooh, there you go. Sub of the month gets to ban one other subscriber of their choice. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. <laughs> okay. That's a terrible idea. I wish the mouse. Oh, excuse me. I wish the mouse got smaller. Oh yeah, ban me. Ban me. Last stream ever. I do. I vaguely recall banning Hydrate Bot. I definitely remember uh, getting really annoyed with hard, uh, Hydrate Bot. I think Lupin did try and ban me once, yeah. And it didn't work. I'm unbannable. Except for if I try and stream Tender Loving Care. That uh, apparently was a no-no. Free him? No. I don't need a... I don't need a robot to remind me to drink. Honestly, nobody should need a robot to remind them to drink water. Just drink... Drink your water. You should have a giant water bottle next to you at all times that you're constantly drinking. Are you coming, Sam? You I'm just coming. unending, just drinking water and and having to piss. That's all. That's how your existence should be. Wash your hand, bot. I don't. I don't need bots for these, uh, these basic human functions. <laughs> I need. Well, that's. I need a reminder to eat. That's. That's actually. I guess that's not totally true. <laughs> yeah, Domino bot. It's time to order Dominoes. I've got Wingnut. Now, I just have to bring him back to the sun machine. Of course, of course. A button that I can push that just orders dominoes. This is not, that's not good. That's not good. I mean, it would, I would use it, but that's not good. Have you guys seen these, uh, the fast food places reintroducing affordable food because everyone's leaving? And they're like, oh shit, 
Our food is so expensive. Hey, here's a, a an affordable meal. <laughs> McDonald's just put out like a five dollar one. I think Wendy's put out a three dollar breakfast or something. Yeah, the prices are crazy. Oh, I do remember the Amazon Dash button. I actually got a I got an Amazon Dash button that when I pushed it oh oh I thought he was gonna sing. When I pushed it, it would order like a random box of like sweets. <laughs> and then so I'd push it and a few days later a box of candy would show up. So that that didn't last long because that was not that was not good. Why? I don't know. I just I if, I wanted to try it. I don't know. I think they gave me a free box if I if I ordered the button, which was like a dollar or something. It was something like that. Do I like Wendy's? I love You've Wendy's. You've got to get me back to work soon. They must be going. The wingnut was, we were just in the, oh no, I went the wrong way. We were just in the sun machine. I got distracted. A conversation picked up and I got distracted. I think they got, who got sued over what? Oh, Amazon, like the buttons? They got sued over the buttons? Oh, over the foot long not being long enough? Dude, I miss $5 foot long. I feel like you shouldn't be able to change it if you wrote a whole song about it. Yeah, it has alliteration. It's you. You legally can't change it. Here we are, Wingnut. And they could do like a ten dollar ten inch. Without everything getting all out of whack, can I? Hmm? Oh, sure. That's right, Wingnut. Yeah, you must be the most important guy here. Dude, every everybody hates their coworkers in this place. There. That looks better already. What would we do without you? You know, it actually does look better. Fifty dollar yeah. foot long. Hello, Sam. Well, young man, I see you've fixed another weather machine. Yeah, I'm pretty That's great. Right. I brought Wingnut back to the sun machine. The weather is already starting to get better. Yes, the sandstorms at the South Pole have calmed down a lot. You're doing a fine job. Because I Keep fixed the, the sun work. machine? Oh, I've just got two more machines to go. Good. Keep us informed of your progress. Goodbye now. Hi, bye, snooze. <laughs> How do you like that? Not even a word about my performance. Typical. Fifty-fifty dollar. <laughs> $50 foot long. No, I also don't love the voice acting of Thunder and Lightning. Not my favorite. Still don't have a hard hat? Or like an umbrella or something? I need something. This is fixed. Yeah, I'm not the the character. I, I would agree. The characters in general in this game are not my favorite. Lightning, how's the initial incident report coming? Ready as it'll ever be. I guess we should send it to the president. Cross your fingers. Don't fret, dear. It's only Sam. Oh, thank heavens. I don't know what's gotten into me today. Hello, Sam. 
Lightning. I don't like Lightning's leg or whatever you would call this area. Her slug tail? Yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, I don't like it. Hello again, sir. Hello again, sir. Okay, I think this guy's in the hard hat room. Good day, Mr. Sam. Good day, Mr. Sam. I thought for sure we got... Hey, how did you manage to get in there in the first place? It's kind of an embarrassing story. Why do you ask? Just wondering. Well, don't. Okay. I'll just leave you in there Say, then. Sam, are you going to get me out of here? No. I'm working on a plan. Okay, I got to use the crank somehow. I like smash the glass with a crowbar. I'll try that. People want me to make Sam take a shit, but I'm not sure. Oh, that's right after that. I don't know. How do you get him to do it? Press and hold up, left, and right arrow keys. Mm. No. Mm. Listen. If you're gonna, if you want to see Tam Sam take a fat dump, you gotta look it up on YouTube, okay? Yeah, if you want to see shitty Sam. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Sam. Okay, let's go talk to the other guys, see if there's anything else going on. <laughs> I did not make that video, no. Despite what other people might say, I'm I'm taking very good care of the supplies. I never give any out, so we always have enough. I guess that's good. It certainly is. <laughs> What's the video title? Sam takes a shit? DeviantArt was the first hit when you Googled phone Sona earlier. Uh, uh, it's a terrible life we live. <laughs> what do you guys do? Besides have meetings. Having meetings is very important. We have to decide things, you know. Having meetings is how we decide things. He wipes with his we cape. We still need to decide on a color scheme. Well, wouldn't you? It's like you got a handy piece of toilet paper. Always following. Why are you guys watching it? Because everyone wants to see Sam take a shit. Obviously. <laughs> Obviously. Hello. Hello again, sir. Oh, shit. Uh, and where do I use the... Oh! I think I might know where to use the crank, actually. Welcome to worldwide weather, sir. I'm not lost. I just don't know what I'm doing or where I am. Uh, no, I think I, I think I know where I'm going now. I 
think... I think I might be use, able to use the crank in here. I'm pretty sure that oh. won't work. I don't think that'll work. I thought that's how I was gonna change it. Have I tried checking the banyan trees? No, that's a good idea, though. This must be where the Y-pipe goes. The Y-pipe combines the H2 and the O to make rainwater. Ah. Water is made of two parts hydrogen and one part oxygen. H2O. Learning is fun. Hmm. Oh, that is spoilers. I'll go check, though. I feel like you need the mushroom looking guy to go here, right? Aha! I knew I'd find where this went if I looked hard enough. Yeah, just to be clear, I will uh Hey, this thing turns. I'll be clear when I'm I'm looking for help. Sometimes I'm just wandering around looking for the answer. So the button here turns on the wind machine up there? That doesn't seem good. Zack! Another one! Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> tickled. I like that the subtitles specify that you just tickled the locker. Oh boy, a hard hat. It works great. Wonder why they chose to go bright this game and not keep with the darkness like last game. Maybe they thought that they already did darkness, so they were gonna go like a whole different direction. But I definitely prefer the darker environments. <laughs> Let's tickle the lockers a, a bit. You just gotta grab their handle and like jerk it up and down. They really like it. <laughs> Okay. Now we can go into that building, finally. What's not appropriate? It's a kid's game. What's not appropriate? Just observing what's going on in the in the children's game. Stop being nasty. <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> What up, great kiwid? That's true. You guys all did go look. You you ran to YouTube to watch a child take a shit. It's true. Hello again, sir. <laughs> I calmly walked. Can I put the put the put the hard hat on, Sam? What did I miss? Well, how long have you been here, Lesbian? <laughs> if you haven't, if you're just wandering in, I don't know that I can really uh, describe how we've arrived at this point. Hey, this works pretty well. Uh, oh, by the great Kiwiid. <laughs> uh, oh. Another one. I got it. I got it. That's a lot of crates. Yeah. 
needs a vacuum cleaner. I don't like the vacuum cleaner. Pass. Oh, I do love the elevator music, though. Okay. Oh, there it is. There it is. Yeah, Ian hates happiness. That's right. Please recycle after use. Okay, I gotta get this guy. Here's another one. <laughs> Do not enjoy or have any fun here. Stream rules. That should be my should be on my stream rules. Okay. Uh so I gotta go, it's gotta go, one, two, three is good, and then it's, no, wait, no. Should I write this down so I don't forget? Yellow, blue, black, white, pink, orange. I know there's a room where we, like, move around the bottom. Oh, wait, or was it that button? You gotta find those missing machine pieces. Yeah, I'm trying to go back through the... Exactly. No one who wants to have fun would ever watch Brutal News. Oh, okay, good. That's great. This nice button that looks like I'm supposed to use it. Uh-huh. God, it's so bright. I wouldn't leave the elevator. Too bright. Hey, I can see all the way to the land of darkness through here. I'm looking for my Pajama Man comic books. Let's see if we can find ten Pajama Man comic books. Yeah, Click but I can't get them. To move around. Hey, I found one! Here's another one! I wish I could be back here. <laughs> Remember the lemon head mascot? Try not to. <laughs> You're a little is your dream job your dream job was to make the little animations in point and click game. Oh that'd be cool. I guess that job I don't know if it still hey, exists. Not these uh Here's another one. Not like this at least. You had nightmares about lemon head. There's one. Oh, there's a bottle of rum down here? Oh, yeah. There's one. No, it's rum. It's rum. It's, uh, it's not san suntan lotion. It's Pajama Sam's secret stash of rum in his closet. If you were if you were here for the first game, you would know his alcoholism was uh, very clearly established. Yeah, that's why he's hallucinating. <laughs> exactly. Hey, I found another one. Here's another one. I only need to find one more. That's also why he's blue. He's got alcohol poisoning, which apparently turns you blue. Mm. 
Mmm, what a hamburger. All alcoholics are blue. Oh my god, where? Oh. oh. There. Yay! Do you want to play again? You can actually turn blue from ingesting too much silver. Been there. You guys remember the the silver taste test brutal foods? I was blue for months. That's true. I have been blue in at least two videos so far. Oh. I thought I had to rearrange the boxes, but I just... Okay, that's easy. I'm supposed to find. No shit, dude. Eldritch D's. Velocimometer. Thank you Hello? for the four months. Hello. Hello? Velocimometer? Is that you? Yes. I'm scared. It's okay. But Jamma Sam is here to help you. Come on, dude. Use that brain. Uh, He's been hitting the rum too hard. Get down from there? No. I don't think so. Well, never fear. I'll think of something. Thank you. Hey, look at those boxes. I bet I could climb those. Oh, no shit. Ooh, I like the song, though. Don't worry, it's me, Sam. I'll help you down. Really? Sure, come on. You'll be safe with me. Thank you. Whoops. Can you take me back <laughs> to the wind machine? Sure thing, Velocimometer. You can call me Velo. Well, his legs are really tiny okay. in this shot. Velo his proportions are odd. Oh, is her his proportions always like that? He looked very weird to me in that screen. Well, first I'm gonna go take a shit. I don't think that will do much. Dude, you know what I was saying. Oh, good. Yeah, great. No, I don't shit. I, I only pee, take my, my peas. I only uh, drop a piss. I've just phased that out. Welcome Too stinky, to you know? Weather, Too stinky. Huh? Just, just decided not to do it anymore. Hey, Mr. Sam. <laughs> That's what happens when you stop eating pizza and only drink G Fuel. Yeah, there you go. That's accurate. <laughs> okay. Well, I liked that. <laughs> Nothing's happening. Fucking dumbass. Dude. <laughs> Obviously, that's way better. Whee! Oh, did that not work? How are you going to get me out? Oh, I'll think of something. That didn't work? I 
don't think I should do that. I might break. You just threw a whole ass can of earthquake at him. Come on. Okay, let's go put this other guy back. Boom, boom. Hello, I'm trying to remember if I get any money or anything to operate the machine. Oh, good. Uh, am I still streaming uh, to you guys? Let's see what the problem is here. Oh. Okay, it's fine. My recording strop stropped. My recording stropped. Uh, because my uh, my drive is full, but it's fine. What happens if I press the red button? Well, that's that's how this whole disaster started. So I probably won't be doing it again. He's in the wind? Do it again? Do what again? Oh, hit the big button again. Uh, no, pass. <laughs> no, I'd rather get to the food game. How will I upload the VOD if the recording stopped? I'll just download the VOD from Twitch. I should turn this back first. Here we are. Oh, goody, home. What's... What's he looking at in there? Thank you, Sam. Hello, Sam. Whoa! I wish you'd stop sneaking up on me like that. Sorry, Sam. We wanted to say we're very impressed with the way you've been fixing the weather machine. Thank you. At this rate, we'll have everything ship -shape before anyone even notices anything was wrong. Hang on for a second, Sam. That's our call waiting. Is Mother Nature an onion? <laughs> Everything's under control. Don't hand me that claptrap. I read your incident report. You left out one or two things. Uh, what things would those be? Well, for example, why isn't it raining in the rainforest? Onions like are nature? I guess that's true. Uh... I'm coming over there now, and when I get there, I want some answers. Oh, boy. Mother Nature is coming! Here! Is that bad? It could be. If everything's not perfect by the time she gets here, we'll be in big trouble. The files are all hopelessly out of date! What are we going to do? We better get to work updating them right away. I mean, what is she gonna do? Shut down the weather? Like... Thank you. And Sam... What's the worry? Please hurry. Fire that well who's gonna who else is gonna work there? There's nobody else. You gonna put the chair in charge? <laughs> Sam will take their place. Okay. Uh <laughs> Okay, do I get one of those now? I really thought the earthquake would work. Um...
Oh, you know what? Oops, not that. Oh, I did finish it. I was like, I should be looking for a piece. We got to be close to finishing. Here we go. Hold on. I just got to check these lockers real quick. <laughs> Dude, I agree, Cheese. Uh, Cheese Larry. I was thinking the same thing when this started. That the whole idea is that he's afraid of thunder and lightning, but before he even leaves his house, he's not afraid of thunder and lightning anymore. So what what are we doing here? You want me to crowbar the lockers? I keep forgetting I have the crowbar. I don't think I think they're just laughing lockers. First, he just had to overcome his fear, but now he's destroyed the weather and has to pay for his crimes. But yeah, but what I'm saying is that he he overcame his fear before he even went into the attic. He like put his cape on and he's like, okay, I'm not I'm not afraid anymore. Hello again, sir. Oh, wait, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hello again. Oh my god. Hello. Hi. Welcome to the worldwide. Oh, never mind. Good day, Mr. Sam. Good day. I should do that. I might break. Why not? I'm pretty sure that won't work. Sure it will. That's where the wipe. That's the wipe. It is the wipe. Have any idea how stuffy it is inside one of these things? I'll get you out. I'm just not sure how to do it yet. Maybe you should just buy me. Yeah, I'm tr trying to. Oh, why? Curse my luck. Did I have to get stuck? Like a ripe nectarine in a vending machine. Yeah. What do you mean, like a nectarine? Hey, I had to make it rhyme, didn't I? <laughs> so I checked the phone because I thought maybe I could get like a like a coin back from a phone return, and I was gonna check here, but I can't do that either. Oh. Wait, I think I might know. I think I might know what I gotta do. I feel like this isn't the first time I've been stuck on this one before and the snowflake inspectors in the bathroom hello uh you can use literally every item on it including ones you don't have at that point and get a unique dialogue that's interesting i always try and use the earthquake well it makes so much sense Longest time I had no idea how to get wingnut down in the pipes. I could see that because if you don't click on that little, uh, the pipe, you would have no way of knowing. Where was I headed? I was headed to... This one? Remember your mom saying this was so hard when you would play with her, that this was a tough puzzle? It's just that I don't think... Not good, uh, what do they call it, signposting? Oh, wow. It doesn't really tell you, uh, it really doesn't give you that great of direction. The sun looks like noodles. Foxfire27, thanks so much for the 10 months. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I think I, I, think I remember it. I think it's in here. 
I want to say I like grow a money tree or get a, like a pot of gold from growing a rainbow or something like that. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Oh, what's this? They'll be after me gold. Hello. Hello. Yeah, that's out there. Except a guy. Oh boy, I'm rich! Didn't someone was saying top of the morning last uh, last stream? Okay, so I got the I got the gold. Car in the toy shop. Man, I missed the joke telling animals from that putt putt game. That was the I think the best part of the humongous stream so far. How could a kid know how to do that? I mean, you just have to, like, end up at that machine and decide to grow all the different things, I guess, for fun. Flatface420, thank you for the 16 months awfully bright Pajama Sam game. I agree. I want to go back to the darkness. Yeah, I don't know what fun is. <laughs> no, that one's obtuse. That one's obtuse. And I, I can't tell in the first game. I don't know what's obtuse in the first game because I've played it too many times. This is still your favorite game, despite the garbage characters and bright location. Well, if you take issue with the characters and the brightness, what about it? Are you just like a big weather fan? Good day, Mr. Sam. Yeah, the art's still good, for sure. The art is definitely still good. <laughs> garbage characters, have you seen the fuck phone? We all have, Chaka. We all have. Am I still gonna need the... Yeah. Ow. That doesn't look very comfortable. It isn't. Please insert more coins. I Why? I got any more coins. Oh, great. <laughs> okay, so I was almost there. So the squinch bar was, is it a bar? I thought it was like a bag. I thought it was like squinch chips. <laughs> Pajama Sam is supposed to be dark. I guess nighttime goes with pajamas. Yeah, that's kind of... Maybe that's... You know, I never really thought about it, but maybe that's why he looks so out of place to me. It's just... It's so bright. I never considered that it was because he's wearing pajamas. I think it's just that the first one is so dark. Have I ever played Broken Age? No. Is that the one with two different characters? Point and click. Yeah, okay. No, I didn't play that one. I heard that one was uh, that one was uh, good, but like a little obtuse. Uh, is it one? Oh no, I'm I'm on one two. I think I watched a video from Game Maker's Toolkit about. Oh no, I'm going to basement. What the? Just figured the first game was dark because of the theme. Yeah, I'm sure it was all... I'm sure that's why he was in pajamas too. Because it was night and darkness. He's going to bed. Earthquake in a camp. Please. What about the fourth... What's the fourth Pajama Sam game? There's four of them, right? I know three, the the food one is is a little more visually like the first game. Am I playing Paper Mario on Switch tomorrow? I am not. Oh yeah, life is rough when you lose your stuff. I don't I don't remember that one. 
No, I'm uh, I'm back to playing dot hack. Actually, I'm back. I'm back to the dot hack grind. I made a video on it. On which one? Life is rough when you lose your stuff? Welcome to Worldwide Weather. Listen, sir. listen. Just because I, I made a video where I spent time playing and writing and learning a game or a movie doesn't mean I remember any of it. If it's a week old, I've already forgotten. <laughs> Good day, Mr. Sam. Did I actually make... Hold on, I have to look it up. Did I actually make a video on that one? Oh, I did! I did. That's the one where I'm blue. That was forever ago. I can't remember that. That was at least a year ago. <laughs> Uh, 2022. Oh my god, it really wasn't even that long ago. Three house moves ago? I think it's... I think it was just one house move ago. Oh, did it expire? Actually, that's kind of fun. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well. That's not my fault. It's not my fault. People were trying to get me to remember something. Hello again, sir. I I can't I can't use that part of my brain and the do things part of my brain at the same time. They're different parts. Focus. Focus. Did I ever get an idea for a video and realize I did it already? I don't think so, no. Though, I wouldn't put it past me to make a video that I've already made. recycle after you? And forget that I'd already made it. <laughs> like, do a review. But I could see myself doing a review of Pajama Sam 4 and completely forgetting that I'd, I had already done that. wouldn't notice. Okay. Okay, now don't talk to me. Don't make me think. Don't make me think about anything. Worldwide weather, sir. Yes! I'm the only one walking around here. You can chill. I have done my taxes, yo. Well, taxes were a while ago. Good day, Mr. Sam. Math equation? I can't do math. Dude, I gotta do fan mail again, by the way. I got another pile going. Oh, and I have, uh, the fan mail video is, have I already said this? Uh, is basically done. I need to, I'll probably tomorrow give it another watch to make sure it's all good. But almost done with that, finally. Oh shit, I almost just, I got, I was reading chat. It almost happened again. What a relief! You ever been stuck in a vending machine, Sam? I think I'm a little too big to fit in there. Yeah, uh, I suppose you are. Say, where did you get that great outfit? This? It's my pajamas. I sleep in them. You have special clothes just for sleeping in. <laughs> of course! Why? Because... Oh, well, 
that's not important right now. We have to get you back to the rain machine. Yeah, I'll bet they miss me. Can you give me a lift? Sure. Why? Put him back. <laughs> yeah, that's Bobby Hill, Bobby Bill. Bobby Bill asks if it's Bobby Hill. It is Bobby Hill, Bobby Bill. Hello again, sir. Same voice actor, yeah, but it's also the same character. Uh, they are also the same character, yes. I can't believe they died in blue. <laughs> Oh my god, I think we're almost done. Time to get back to work. Do I have to? Of course you do. Why? Because if you don't, then the rain machine won't work and we'll run out of rain. So? Well... Attention, all personnel. It's a good question. Is arriving. <laughs> this so? Is no time to argue. This is an emergency. Oh, no, she's here. She's here. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? What do we do? I don't know. We've got to stall her. We'll think of something. Mother Nature, how nice to see you. Cut the chit chat, Thunder. I'm making a full inspection of the facility. Mother Nature and should have been I like a tree or something. Is absolutely perfect. Your like a pile of dirt, control. maybe. What's this? <gasps> Mother Nature, you haven't seen my slides from my trip to Cleveland. I'll try to live with the disappointment. Let me see those monitors. <laughs> What's going on? Uh -huh. Hmm. It looks like everything is working just fine. She was not expecting this. <laughs> of course it is. And who might you be? I'm Pajama Sam. He's a little boy who... <laughs> uh, he's our handyman, that's who. Keeps everything running smoothly. Half, half, half. I'm happy to report that all the weather machines are working perfectly. Hmm. All right, then. Thunder, lightning. Keep up the good work. We're not fired? Uh, certainly not. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm needed in Acapulco. Sam, thank you so much for all your help. Yeah. You fixed the last machine just in time. You saved our job. Yeah. And the weather is all back to normal. Yeah. Does that mean it'll be stormy at my house again? Yes. In fact, how would you like to take the controls for a little while? Dude, these people you didn't learn anything. the weather? <laughs> these people didn't learn anything. This controls how much you go fuck with the controls. And this one is a volume control for the kaboom! Oh boy. Well, you blew up the earth, Sam. Good job. That was Pajama Sam 2. I hope, uh... All of you out there with, uh, you know, crippling weather fears are feeling a bit better. My name's Ozzy. Are you right. sure you want to leave? I, yep, I sure am sure. All right, so... Let's find Pep. Where's Pep? What door is Pep? Where is he? Uh, if you didn't catch the last stream, 
Oh, we are finding Pep after every humongous entertainment game. And if you find him, I'll gift five subs to the community. Choose wisely. I don't really let the poll go on for that much. Just uh, just to see where we're where we're feeling. It looks like we're feeling door number two. I'll give it a Ooh, door number three with the comeback. Okay, I'll wait a second. I'll wait a second. I'll give it a second. Hey guys, I'm over here now. How do I look in this red light? Guess correctly. Door number two. Door number two. Survey says it's like a can of oil. He was behind door number one, so it wasn't happening. It wasn't happening. Good try, though. Good try. Okay, give me a second. I gotta mix them back up here. Okie dokie. Well, we'll have a chance to find Pep here in a bit. Good try, guys. What was behind three? Well, you'll just have to see once you, uh... Once you find it. Uh, the font in that screen looks... It's all stretched out. I need to fix it. I just haven't done it. I would have fixed it yesterday, but uh, I had to film. I filmed the video instead. Okay. Um, before we spin the wheel, I'm gonna take a little break, pee break, uh, get some food. Well, I I don't. I'm not gonna get some food, but you guys can. We do have a lot of putt putts to get through. It's true. A little little tiny break, and I'll be right back.
Are you guys behaving? I'm back. We're dancing? Okay, that's fine. That's mostly behaving, I suppose. I washed my hands. Thank you very much. I also got uh, some more of the gamer sup. I want my G Fuel back. And I got, I'm gonna eat, so sorry about that, but I got a little, little sandwich. It is blowhole blast. It sure is. All right, here we go. There you go. How many drinks do I have left? I have a lot of gamer subs left. When they sent me the, the box, they sent like a lot of stuff, so it's gonna take me a while. Okay, Spy Fox 1, dry cereal is where we're headed. Give me a second. Give me a, give me a second. Give me a second. Be be be, be be de 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 de, be de 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 de. There we go. Mm hmm. Scampy Pants, thank you very much for the 28 months. Thank you, thank you. Play the demo of this one over and over on your PJ Sam disc. The demos were so cool. Got milk? Not anymore. Everything is going just as I planned. Soon the entire world will Why be can't without I adjust the volume? No butter on toast, no ice cream, no cheddar cheese, and nothing but dry cereal. Nothing go. can stop me now. <laughs> Anyone out there eat cereal without the milk? Any dry guys out there? Somewhere over the Mediterranean Sea. Would you like our Italian on? Don't like cereal? No, thanks. It gives me hives. Our vegetarian dinner, then. I like some no, cereal dry as like a snack. Then may I recommend the Greek plate? It's delicious. All right, if you insist. Enjoy. It's good to see you, Agent Fox. Ah, Monkey Penny. Now this is a real TV dinner. Right. Yesterday, our spy operatives discovered the... How do we feel about the art style here? ...of amalgamated moo juice incorporated abandoned and drained of milk. Soon, the entire world's remaining milk reserves will be depleted. Like it, love it. The idea of Favorite? dry breakfast cereal is pretty hard to swallow. Yes, it is. Here's the only clue we have. Feta cheese. A low grade, too. Spy operatives took that picture in the office of Mr. Howard Hugh Heffer Utterly III. President and CEO of Amalgamated Moo Juice Incorporated. Exactly. We presume he has valuable information on the dairy crisis. The only available picture of him is hidden in your mashed potatoes. Finding Utterly is your top priority. He shouldn't be hard to spot. The feta cheese samples found in Utterly's office have been traced back to the island of Acidophilus. Your plane will be flying over the island any minute now. I've already set up the mobile command center where you'll rendezvous is with Is it Acidopolis because of the ass the photo? Code is in your fortune cookie. Any questions? No, I'm on my way. Good. Monkey Penny, out. Your favorite humongous game? A lot of people like the Spy Fox. I didn't play a ton of Spy Fox growing up. I think my neighbor had this game. I wish I hadn't left my parachute in my other tuxedo. Maybe one of my special spy gadgets will help me. I wonder which one I should pick. 
Favorite is Operation Ozone. I don't even know if I've played that I'm one. I'm in no mood to tickle the ivories. That's now. the third one, right? Pardon me, that airline food will get you every time. That's certainly not the kind of entrance a super spy like myself normally makes. Hmm, so this is the sleepy little Greek island of Acidophilus. I seem to have arrived unfashionably early, since nothing seems to be open. I should meet up with Monkey Penny at the Mobile Command Center. Hmm. Mobile, I like that. I'm gonna start saying that. Mobile. Hello, you've reached the offices of Amalgamated Mood Juice Incorporated. Our staff is a little tied up right now, so we'll have to get back to you as soon as we're rescued. It's an unfortunate number. Another number. Or it's a fortunate number, I guess, depending on how you look at it. Um, I think they're this way. Yeah, yeah. Uh-oh. Normally, I would karate chop my way right through a door. But this one seems to be made of solid steel. That's how I do it, too. Five 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 four zero two three. Five 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 four zero two three. There we go. Hello, Spycore Mobile Command Center. Penny, I've got your number. <laughs> now that's a person-to-person -person phone call. Glad you could drop in, Spy Fox. Hello, Monkey. That's Monkey Penny. So what do you think of Skycorp's new Greek Island Mobile Command Center? Impressive. Disguising it as a half-buried boat in the middle of the town square was a stroke of genius. Nobody would ever notice that. That was Professor Quack's idea. Where is Quack? Oh, he'll be here soon to refill the spy gadget vending machine. In the meantime, he sent a couple of things ahead for your mission. Good, because a spy without a gadget is like a shopping cart without a broken wheel. How apt. Now pay attention. This is Greek money. It's called drachmas. You may need to buy a few things around here on the island. And this is a... A toothbrush. And I sure could use one after that airplane meal. Don't put that in your mouth. It's not a regular toothbrush. It's a special laser toothbrush. Let me show you how it works. You hold the laser toothbrush. Apply the okay, minty I remember this. Gel. Push the button, then you can use it to cut through really thick steel. Hmm, I guess that's one way to fight cavities. So, do we have any idea where Mr. Utterly is being held? No solid evidence yet, but you might want to check out that feta factory down by the docks. Feta factory, huh? I thought I smelled something suspicious. Okay, I remember that uh, we gotta get a bunch of gadgets. If I had the neck, I'd take a crack at Oh, uh, we need, uh, we need Quack here. Quack and a smack. But I suppose Quack would give me some flack when he gets back to this shack. Or oh, people... Who's acting like Fed? Oh, it's people in the game acting like Fed is not good? I went through a, uh... I went through a Feta phase. I was a Feta fan for a while. <laughs> My spy watch is beeping. Yeah, I used to put it on salads all the time. Please stand by. Spy Fox here. Hi, Spy Fox. Remember, you can call me via your spy watch anytime for help and information. Just press the mobile command button. Will do. Spy Fox, out. Okay, I think I got it, though.
Feta is one of the three cheeses you don't mind eating. What are the other two? Uh, how do I get my... Oh, oh, it's this one. Here's where I keep my spy gadget. Pepper Jack and mozzarella. I love a mozzarella. The laser toothbrush makes impervious steel doors pervious. I've been in a, I've been on a brie kick lately. Lots of brie cheese. Now that's a big side of beef. No buts about it. That's Mr. Utterly, all right. And he's dangling over a pool of piranha. Now the question <laughs> is, how am I going to get his rump roast down from there? Oh, uh, uh, uh. uh, can't eat. You're allergic to the rind of brie. Interesting. Yeah. Hmm, this must be the temperature control for this pool of piranhas. Kind of an odd fixture for a feta cheese factory. The piranha pool seems to be getting colder. Can't do cheddar or American, not into yellow cheeses. I like a Gouda. The little beasties seem to be slowing down. So we're killing an entire tank of piranhas, basically? Hmm, fish on ice. That should hold them. Now for Mr. Utterly. Oh no, they're fine apparently. Thank you, Mr. Um... I think freezing them is having an effect already. Routine rescue, really? Now I need to get you to our mobile command center for a debriefing. Good. I need to change my pants. Ooh, living Did living book stream? That'd be fun. All right, just calm down, Mr. Utterly. Why don't you start from the beginning and tell us what happened? Well, it all started as a typical day at the office. When you're as important as I am, you're constantly fielding international cattle calls and reviewing grazing reports. Yep, you have to stay pretty sharp in the dairy biz. So when William the Kid's sons made their appearance, I immediately snapped in. Oh yes, William the Kid. There were dozens of them. I fought them hoof and nail. Pow, 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 I did. My whole body's a weapon. Then suddenly, I smelled something revolting. It could only be one thing. Feta cheese! cheese. <laughs> the stink was so overwhelming that I nearly passed out. Taking advantage of my momentary asphyxiation, Fuck Feta! Kidnappers jumped me and then pushed me into a smelly dark bag. They whisked me away to Kid's Secret Island Fortress. It was just so humiliating being bagged up like a... I've also never seen Feta so goopy. Does Feta get goopy? To learn anything about what William the Kid is up to. Well, I don't know that I've melted Feta enough to see. I picked a few things up. Kid's demented scheme for gaining worldwide domination is run by a front company I wouldn't think so. Nectar of the Goats Corporation. He has a five-part master plan. First, capture all the dairy cows in the world. Mm -hmm. As you know, he's already done that. Second, he built that milky weapon of destruction inside his secret fortress. Third, use this milky weapon of mm. destruction to flood the capital with none too fresh dairy milk. Fourth, frame all the poor dairy cows for this heinous crime. Fifth, take over the entire dairy I want to show you my milky weapon of destruction. Find that secret fortress but it's against that Twitch TOS. Hmm, sounds challenging. I need to find that secret fortress and disarm that milky weapon of destruction. Oh, I almost forgot. When William the Kid's back was turned, I swiped the secret code that turns the milky weapon of destruction off. Good going. Where is it? Uh, well, I had to swallow the code before I could read it so it wouldn't be discovered. Can you believe it? I find the whole thing a little hard to swallow. We need to figure out a way to get a look at that code. Someone needs to find that secret fortress and stop William the Kid. 
Actually, this is something I remember a lot about this game. They talk a lot in the beginning. Yeah, we're, we're gonna get a, a rundown of all these things, too. Good morning, Spy Fox. I took the liberty of loading the vending machine with some of my ingenious new spy gadgets. You should take a look at some of them, Spy Fox. They may come in handy. X-ray gum. How does this work, Professor Quack? Ah, that's my new and improved beef flavor X-ray gum. Mm. Not sure I'd be interested in beef gum. I'll explain how it works. You take a stick out, put it up against something beefy, move it around, and then you can see the yucky stuff inside. The best part of all is, when you are done, you can chew the gum. It actually has a very... Re Why would you chew it? Why wouldn't you just you know, save it for your next gum for their patients who need beefy need? A duck needs his fiber. These gamers, not gamers, to get uh, G Fuel cups are like breaking, like leaking all over me. I'm not, I'm not a fan. That's mm. the X-ray gum. Okay, let's just get, let's just get all the things. I already have the X-ray gum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't need any more. Mm. What's in this egg-shaped container, Professor Quack? Beefy G Fuel? I don't know. The spy putty. Keep trying the X-ray gum on Monkey Penny? I'll do that. And spread the putty on whatever you want to make a copy of. Press down, and then peel the putty off. You have a perfect copy. Hmm, that looks rather silly. I know what you're thinking. You think that the spy putty looks a lot like that silly stuff they sell in toy stores. Mm -hmm. What you don't know is that I thought of it first. Oh, okay. Those duplicitous duplicators stole my idea. I was requested to do this by chat, by the way. Please, Spy Fox. Quack specifically told you that the x-ray gum only works on something beefy. Oh, yes. You're absolutely right, Monkey Penny. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to slap you, Spy Fox? Pardon me. The Maybe. The x-ray gum only works on something beefy. Hmm. Do you want me to slap you, Spy Fox? Pardon me. Maybe. The X-ray gum only works on something beefy. Does she have any more? Is she gonna get mad at me? Do you want me to slap you, okay. Spy Fox? Pardon me. The X-ray gum only works on something beefy. Pardon me. That's the Spy Putty. Okay. Two more. Mm. It appears Here's a shoe. a shoe. What is this gadget, Professor Quack? Oh, that's the night vision shoe. One of my most ingenious inventions. I think twice would be enough for anyone. Well, what if I want to see those pennies? All you do is strap the shoe onto your head, and then you can see in the dark. How illuminating. Yes, and it has excellent arch support. That's I got the show. shoe. Any exciting Memorial Day weekend plans? When is that? Is it this weekend? Mmm, it looks like a delicious snack. May I eat this, Professor Quack? Okay. Monday? That's the cheese oh, I'll just be, I'll be doing what I always do. <laughs> I'll be streaming. We'll probably be doing this <laughs> on Monday. We'll probably just be doing this. almost any safe in the world. I won't explain exactly how it works because it's very scientific and complicated. Trust me when I say it works like a char. And it tastes great in soup. You know, my memory is extra good on Memorial Day, too, so we'll be able to get through way more games. Oh, can I only carry four at a time? Oh, I didn't realize there were even more. Okay, well, I'm not gonna... I'm gonna wait.
Okay, let's, uh... Now, if you don't mind, Mr. Utterly, I'm going to need to use this x-ray gum to take a look at those four stomachs of yours. This isn't going to hurt, is it? Oh, <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of dizzy when I think about pain. In fact, just saying the word pain makes me want to... Oh... <laughs> It's immensely painful. Professor Quack, your x-ray gum works perfectly. I can see everything inside Mr. Utterly's gut. Meatloaf. Steak I roast. Found the note. Once I find that punch card, I can look for that control panel it goes into. Then William the Kid's milky weapon of destruction will be disarmed. Sloppy Joe's. If I had a wrench in me, I would wretch. Clock. Apple. Is that the only one he's got a joke about? I've got to look for that punch card. William the Kid must be stopped. If I had a wrench in me, I would wretch. Okie dokie. Here's where I keep my... Please, Spy Fox. Quack specifically told you that the x-ray gum only works on something beefy. Oh, yes. You're absolutely right, Monkey Penny. Yep. You know, once I was trying to invent an electric tissue paper, but every time I went to blow my nose, I would almost get electrocuted. How shocking. Hey, according to Spy Corps' database, William the Kid has three overdue library books. I always suspected Kid had some latent criminal tendencies. Okay. Yeah, lots of lots of puns. It's very punny. Welcome to the Trinket Emporium. My name is Gilbert. How may I be of service to you, O oh, honorable visitor, to this, our dear island home? I'm not sure yet. I was just noticing your fine selection of trinkets. Sir, I think that you will find we offer much more than mere trinkets. We pride ourselves in having the island's finest selection of rare and hard to find collector items and antiquities. Excellent. One never knows when they will be struck with an unquenchable desire to indulge in a blatant act of bourgeois consumerism. Our thoughts exactly, sir. I, I want the trinkets. trinkets. But I'm wondering if you have them in cans. It's uncanny that you would ask me that, because just this morning I ordered some. Unfortunately, they won't be here till next week. Say, do you happen to have any white marble cycladic figurines? From either Siphanos or Syros, dating somewhere between 2800 to 2300 BC? I have no idea what you are talking about, sir. Perhaps there is something else I could interest you in? Okay, so this one you can, like, interview people, right? Oh, I haven't gotten that ability yet. Never mind. Talk hey, to this guy. Wanna see my tattoo? Your mother must be so proud. I think we should all get one of these tattoos. That's the one I want, definitely. Wanna see my tattoo? <laughs> okay, well I love that one. <laughs> the door's locked. It's locked. Okay, I remember these guys. Hi, honey. Welcome to the cantina. I'm Bee Bear. If there's anything I can get you, sugar, like for example, sugar, you just let me know. All right? Thanks, Bee. Are you gonna try the secret sauce, or are you gonna try Beet Bliss on your uh, chicken knuckles? Thank you. Next. So you like playing the tango, do you? Oh yeah. Secret the sauce. The tango really swings you crazy, cat. Plus, it's the only sheet music I have.
secret sauce may cause drowsiness in alligators. Can I have that? Beat Bliss. It smells funny. <laughs> Greetings. Interested in a little game of go fish, Mr. Fox. Spy Fox. Okay, I remember this kind of being a pain in the ass. I don't think we need to do it right now. Artemis J. Big Pig. Pleased to make your acquaintance, sir. What do you say we make this game a little more interesting? Would you care to play for some trinkets? I'm afraid I don't have anything I would call a trinket. How unfortunate. Why don't you come back when you have some trinkets to play with? Hmm, it makes the game so much more interesting. Is he eating all the trinkets? Okay. That's quite a nice little toy boat you got there. Is it yours? Oh, yes, sir. And that is why I'm standing out here at this... So I'm looking for a punch card, right? ...seagull stained dock talking to a sophisticated wannabe like you. So it's not your boat? No. It belongs to my boss. <laughs> is there a party going on up there? Yes, sir. A very exclusive one. So, what is it you do here? I am what you may call a glorified doorman, but I prefer to think of myself as the charming and all-powerful gatekeeper. Oh, hey, it's me! A snarky weasel? Yeah. But also, I was referring to the uh, charming gatekeeper. <laughs> okay. Well, I know I'm looking for a punch card. How do I get that jar of trinkets? Give me the jar. I like the jar of trinkets, but I'm wondering if you have them in- No. It's uncanny that you would ask me that, because just this morning I ordered some. Unfortunately, they won't be here till next week. Got that I had money? What's a jar of trinkets going for these days? Is that really what I'm supposed to be doing? Normally, sir, they're 20 drachmas, but for you, how about 50? Sounds good to me. I'll take it. Is a, is a punch card a trinket? There you go, sir. Why, thank you. Okay, sorry. I got thrown off by chat for, <laughs> for a second. I'm back. Uh, Got any kings? Not a one, sir. Go fish. Got any twos? Fuck. Oh, my God. Okay, okay. Got any threes? I would like to know if I have to do this now. Because I remember this being like a... A pain in the ass. Jacks. Go fish. I don't? Okay. Well, I'll finish this round, but I'm pretty sure we do have to do it at some point. Got any tens? No, sir. Go fish. I need to take a card from the deck first. Oh. I've always been lucky. I just wanted to know which, fish. what he had. Got any eight? <laughs> Go fish. I need to take a card from the deck first. Fuck, I keep... Okay. Hold on, let me drink some G Fuel. I gotta dial back in. Got any eight? New fish, sir. Got any nines? Nice try, but you need to go fish. I am getting smoked. It's hard. <laughs> got any kings? Go fish. Sorry, I, I really I got sidetracked. I got sidetracked by chat. We just didn't expect. We just didn't expect. Uh, yeah. There we go. Aces. I thought you said you were good at this game. Go fish. Got any tens? No, sir. Give me the tens. Got any? Okay, I would like some. Where? How do I get the punch card? Where am I gonna find the punch card? Nines. Nice try, but you need to go fish. 
I hate to leave such a challenging opponent, but I have some bigger... Get on the boat? Okay. Do you mind if I leave my jar of trinkets here? Go right ahead, sir. Come back anytime. I'm winning, but I can't, uh, I don't want that stuff. I want, uh, I don't know what I want exactly, but I know he's got something I want at some point. I lost my tiny wristwatch. That's okay. Well, what if this guy wanted a tiny wristwatch? Looks like a pretty fancy yacht. Fancy would be an understatement, sir. Unfathomably luxurious might be a closer description. So, what is it you do here? I am what you may call a glorified doorman, but I prefer to think of myself as the charming and all-powerful gatekeeper. Okay. Here's where I keep my spy gadget. So, okay, okay, okay. Okay. We definitely have to find an invitation because I'm pretty sure we use the putty to uh, copy it. How can I be sure that all these trinkets you're selling are real? Sir, we at the Trinket Emporium unconditionally guarantee the veracity and reality of every item we sell here. If you find that anything you have purchased from us is in fact an illusion or in any way unreal, please return it to us immediately and we will give you a complete, no questions asked, refund. Dude, I'm out of it. I'M OUT OF IT! Uh... Is it in here? Yeah, you can say something. I can't get in there. Spy Fox, if you need anyone to watch your back while you're out there, just let me know. No. Tie your body's a weapon. Uh, yeah, I'll... You fainted like five minutes ago. Utterly, especially if I need some help in counterintelligence. Hey, according to Spy Corps database, William the Kid has three overdue library books. I always suspected Kid had some latent... You need to get the trinket guy to show you his copy of the ticket. Okay, that's kind of... I mean, I was trying to talk to that guy, but he didn't have anything to say. Or maybe I was... I need to click on him instead of the... I thought that I was supposed to start using this, where you, like, use it to ask people about specific things, but it's not... I mean, I click on it, and, and it's not happening. Nothing's happening. Tell me, what's the difference between a souvenir and a trinket? Souvenir is a French word meaning to remember. Trinket is a Middle English word which means small shoemaker's knife. I hope that clears it up for you, sir. Okay. Okay, so I have to try... Pardon me, sir, but just where do you think you're going? On board. Okay. Sir, you are obviously making a little joke. No one but no one is allowed to go on board the SS Deadweight without a gold-edged, wax-sealed, expensively embossed, handwritten invitation. And do you have one of these, sir? Not as such. Then I'm afraid, sir, that you should make like a plane in the Bermuda Triangle and get lost. I can gather information okay. about the okay. party with this. Gotcha. So I was I had the right idea. I just didn't realize you had to unlock the dialogue option. I noticed that there was a party going on down. No, no, you're good. You're good. At the docks. But I understand you can only go if you were invited. That is true. In fact, I am going as soon as I get off work. Oh, so you got an invitation. I certainly did. It is really a fancy schmancy one too. Would you like to look at it? Why, yes, I would love to look at it. Trying things first is how you get talk bubbles. Okay. Here's where I can I can't. I did not remember that about uh, so about this game. Something to distract him. Oh. Why don't you... Wait a minute. Is that a genuine Teddy Roosevelt teddy bear? Circa 1902? Yes, they are very rare. It may even be on the endangered antiquities list. A video on the game was the first Brutal Moose video you saw 11 years Wait ago. Just one moment. Ooh. Could that possibly Ooh. be the ship's <laughs> steering wheel from the Titanic? I have a sinking suspicion it might be, sir. 
guys. I'm supposed to like... My life needs a little direction right now. I think I'll buy that okay. steering wheel. Let me wrap Time to retire. Ah. 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 Oh, forget it. Oh, I almost forgot. This is not just the local trinket emporium. It is also this island's maritime museum. And I'm not allowed to let anyone touch the exhibits. Got it. Got it. So he never sells anything? Except for jars of trinkets, I guess? Eleven years ago was 91. Yeah. Not you again! How many times do I have to tell you? This is a private party, and without an invitation, you are not allowed to go on board. Sheesh! The nerve of some people. You'd think they would. Yay! Let me see that. Signed, Russian Blue. Oh, sir, we are ever so honored to have you on board with us today. Please, feel free to come and go as you wish. Why, thank you. How gracious of you. All right. What a weasel. <laughs> All right, I here we go. you will have an enjoyable visit. And if there is any way in which I can kiss up some more, sir, I trust you will let me know. But of course. On one path, the rabbit sells a sailor hat. Here's a question. Is... So, this is the deck part. Is the first time you play the game always the same route? Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. And then the variations show up? Hi, Spy Fox. How's the mission progressing? I just made it onto the SS Deadweight. I'm going to take a look around. Good. Keep your eyes peeled for clues as to where William the Kid's secret fortress is. If Kid's fortress is so secret, how come we know about it? We're spies, Spy Fox. It's our job to know. And we are good at our jobs. Spy Fox out. Okay. So it sounds like maybe or probably... Because I, I feel like I always want certain variants when I play these games, and I feel like I tend to just go the same route, and it's probably because it's always just the first, you know, the first time I'm playing or whatever, according to the computer. I've never been involved in a walk snapping before. Who conducts like that? Time to never uninstall Hello. humongous you games. Must be Russian Blue, noted socialite and attractive owner of the SS Deadweight. My name's Fox, Spy Fox. Would you care to dance, Miss Blue? I would love to, Mr. Fox. But there is only one dance on this planet I will dance to, and that is the tango. I love the tango. Do you know why I love the tango, Mr. Fox? That no. funky beat? Because it takes two to tango. Enter it. Boy, not on that. Oh, there we go. Awooga! I can gather information about Russian blue with this. Do the sound effects. I would love to re record every single humongous entertainment sound effect. Okay, what do you know about Ms. Russian Blue, if I may ask? We maintain a strictly professional relationship. She's my employer, you see. Yes, I realize that. What are her hobbies? Of course, there's always the tango, her passion in life. I need to talk to Monkey Penny about tracking Russian Blue's movements. Okay. I'm curious if there's, like, if I know what to do, is there still value in asking people about the character? Or are they all just going to say, hey, she likes to tango. By the way, did you know she likes to tango? You know she's likes, she likes to tango. Hey, what would you think about playing something a little slower for a change? Like I told you, man, I would if I could. So, unless you've got some new sheet... I feel like this guy looks very Bob Burger. Extravaganza continues.
Would you trade me some of your tango music for some of this waltz music? Would I? I've been dying for some new tunes. Thanks. No, no, no. Thank you, Mr. Too Cool for a... Is it the tiny neck? Kind of? You are beautiful, baby. Don't go change him. He just looks like a puppet. Fox a Brussels sprout soda and put it on my tab sweet. You don't have a tab, Johnny. Too bad. Well, the tank. Wait a minute. The tango is what's written on the stage. That's fine. You guys get turned on by everything in these games. I couldn't keep you off the phone last game. Okay, tango? Yeah, phone. If you weren't here for the last game we played today, everybody wants to fuck the phone. Excuse me, but you're in my way here. Excuse me, I thought I left something here. <laughs> it was one person. It just takes one person, and then I, you know, I assign that quality to, uh, to every, the whole chat. <laughs> That's not going to do me any good. Hmm, I guess you can teach old dogs new tricks. Oh, is she like brainwashed to tango? Oh, I'm gonna steal, I'm gonna steal the purse. I should have stole the purse. That was fun. Although, I have to admit, something's bugging me about my technique. Maybe I should try it again. I have to say, you certainly have a unique conducting style. Thank you, sir. It runs in my family. My father was a train conductor. Now, if you don't mind, <laughs> I'm a very busy. Okay, when is he going to go back to tango? Okay, there we go. I thought that would get him to change his tune. Uh, Jen Marie 1313, thank you so much for gifting that sub. And Sassy Glasses, thank you very much for the 200 bits. Give me the purse. What? Now I see why she likes to tango so much. Okay, I'm gonna try one more time, because I'm pretty sure... Uh... I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to it's get that purse. What a difference a little sheet music can make. I think it's when he's like, when he's getting dipped over here. Okay, or not, I don't know. That sure seemed like when I was supposed to do it. That cat certainly knows how to tango, but I've got a few moves she hasn't seen yet. Yeah, you're probably right. I probably need a reason to get the purse. Okay, um, oh wait. Do I need a Here's gadget to get? Hold on. Bag. I might need a gadget to get the purse. Let's see what other gadgets I can get. Is this coin really a spy gadget, Professor Quack? Ah, that's the spy trap. 
Let me explain how it works. It looks like an ordinary coin, like you might find in the street. But if you need to trap three or more bad guys, the coin explodes and a net shoots out. It traps the naughty spy enemy. Nice, huh? Heads I win, tails they lose. Game is annoying about needing specific steps before tasks. I'm going to lose my appetite if I keep this up. Oh my god. It's fine, Koopsie Daisies, but you don't have to talk about how you're a furry, like, for the rest of the stream. <laughs> it's fine, but we can move on. <laughs> Here's where my notes go. I... What handsome cufflinks! Are they gadgets as well, Professor Quack? Those are the suction cufflinks. No, none of those are like grab I things. I'm very proud of them. They are tiny suction cups that allow you to climb across non-porous metal surfaces. The perfect fashion accessory for the well-dressed spot. On a wall of metal he made himself. Mmm, that was a tasty one. Okay. What am I missing? Monkey Penny, what can you tell me about this Russian blue I met over on the SS Deadweight? I'm glad you asked. Direct your attention to the screen. Here's what the Spy Corps database has on her. Name, Russian Blue. She also goes by Ms. Blue, Old Blue, and Kitty Kitty Kitty. Occupation. Owner and operator of the SS Deadweight, mm, head of public hamburger. relations for NOG, close associate of William the Kid, and one bad kitty. Known felonies, indecent tangoing, acquitted. Dancing with intent to tango, acquitted. J tangoing, acquitted. Tangoing out of season, acquitted. Comments. Russian Blue is obviously in cahoots with William the Kid. Mm -hmm. She's not only very dangerous, but she might be the perfect source of information regarding Kid's whereabouts. Interesting. It sounds like I should keep an eye on her. Better still, why don't you slip one of our tracking bugs in? Can anyone hear Tango? Has anyone tangoed before? Walter Wireless is ready to go. Hey, Walter. You need Russian Blue followed? I'm your bug. I'm on her like fleas on a dog, or a cat, as it were. Excellent. Does salsa count? I have no idea. Hop in. Is salsa a tango? That's not going to do me any good. Okay, so am I? Wait, am, am I putting? Am I putting that guy on? But yeah, they just said, but <laughs> in her purse. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Would you like to dance again? Not to that music. Oh yeah, gotcha. I get it. I get it together. I get it together. I thought that would get him to change his tune. I don't think I've ever tangoed, by the way. I didn't answer my own question. I don't think I've ever tangoed. No? That was fun. Although, I have to admit, something's bugging me about my technique. Maybe I should try it again. Yeah, I have tried it many, many times. It's amazing what a difference a little sheet music can make. Okay, okay. Okay, I just had to select it like like when we started the dance, not at a specific, I thought it was a timing thing. Like I needed to click when he was 
dipped down there, but I just I did before. To tango. But now I must attend to some important business. Thank you for the divine tango, Miss Blue. Bye bye. Scoopsy Daisies, thank you for the four months. I meant to send that as a sub chat for the funny. Here's a different chat. Uh, say this five times fast. Spy Fox spied locks on the fried rocks. How about one time at a regular pace? Is that, <laughs> is that acceptable? Thank you so much, Coopsy Daisies, for the four months. <laughs> If I can say it once regular pace, I think we can all imagine how great I would say it five times uh, quickly. <laughs> oh, well, I like this. Let's just stay in this room. I don't think I can do anything in here. At least not right now. My gambling addiction is starting again. I had just gotten rid of it too. I better answer my spy watch. It could be about my dry cleaning. Please stand by. Hello, Monkey Penny. What's up? Spy Fox, one of our informants, Mata Harry, has turned up some vital information you may need to complete your mission. Rendezvous with her in front of the Nectar of the Goats factory door. Okay. We interrupt this program to bring you a special spy report. Let's go to a close-up for this one, Steve. This is Walter Wireless, your undercover tracking bug. Clear eyes. By the first of Russian Blue. Just moments ago, Russian Blue ran off her boat, jumped in her sports car, and sped out of the parking lot. Do you have any idea where she's headed? We are presently speeding down what feels like a winding paved road towards an unknown location. We have just taken a sharp left, now a right. She is driving like a wildcat. I'll bring you more on this breaking story as it... Wait a minute, the car seems to be slowing down. Yes, it's come to a complete stop. I can't tell what's happening yet. Hang on. Oh no, my cover has been covered. <laughs> Why does that bug Mayday. sound like Ian? Mayday. For Spy Corps News, this is Walter Wireless signing off. It's supposed to be Ben Stein, right? Oh, he's dead. Did you see that, Monkey Penny? I sure did. You better see if you can pick up his trail. Professor Quack finished his repairs on your car. I'll have it waiting for you Tom in the Tom Brokaw? Square, really? Just behind the mobile command center. Dan Rather. Hurry, Spy Fox. Walt was one of our best field bugs. And don't forget about meeting up with the informant, Mata Harry, by the Fed. Sounded like Ben Stein to me. Like swimwear. Spy Fox out. Don't know who any of these people are. They're all very famous fleas. Ben Stein is more droning? I don't know, that was pretty droning. I wonder where she's hiding. Monkey Penny said to meet Mata Harry here. I wonder where she's hiding. The robin has an egg in its nest. The eagle has a leg in its vest. Hello. Oh my god. Hi, Mata Harry. What do you have for me? I intercepted what I think may be some sort of coded password, but I have no idea what it means. I'm sure it's important, though. All right, let's hear it. It goes like this. The happy skinny girl. What a curious phrase. Hmm. I'm sure you'll figure it out, Asian Fox. You always do. That's true, I do. All right, I gotta go chase down another lead. Ta -ta. Is this supposed to be somebody? A hiding place like that must be really draining for her. The happy skinny girl. The happy skinny girl. The happy skinny girl. The happy the happy 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 the 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 happy the 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 happy skinny girl. Okay. Let's find the happy skinny girl. Did we talk to anybody else on the boat? I don't think that we could. Are, 
Are you happy? Hold on, what's the clue? The happy skinny girl. Uh. Hmm. What can you tell me about that slick looking lounge lizard over there? Him? Oh, that's Johnny Gecko. He wants to be the next Liberace at tango music. If only he had that kind of talent. Hmm. Oh, can I. Wait, can I go back here? No. I think that's all for Go Fish. Isn't Skinny Girl like a brand of wine or something? We can only go to so many places to go. Locale snack? What am I thinking? I What's the wine? Until someone unlocks the door. Thinking of something hey, else. Want to see my tattoo? <laughs> it's not appropriate. It's not appropriate. Skinny girl also does alcoholic drinks. Maybe that's what, maybe maybe we're thinking of the same thing. I don't know. Skinny Girl Vodka. Okay. Yeah, because I watched that. I watched the season of, uh, I watched that, uh, real, she's a real housewives lady made that, I think. Car. Car? Oh, there is a car. <laughs> Sorry, I did not. I need to follow the trail Walter left for me on the spy radar. Okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, this is a repeat, uh, McFlurry. This is a repeat. I would not. I would have been clicking around forever. I would not have noticed the car. There's no, like, pathway for you to even get up there. I don't remember this at all. We didn't get this far last time. I mean, I've beaten the game before. Is this something you always have to do? Usually the path involves a boat. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm not sure I've done this before. Yeah. Yeah, 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 what? Gee, I can't. This was probably a nice place until someone came along and ruined it. Typical. I'm right over here, Spy Fox. Walter, what happened? Where did Russian Blue go? Sorry, Spy Fox. My cover was compromised. I thought I was going to get squashed there for a second, but luckily she dropped me and ducked into a secret passageway. I need to bug out of here. She mentioned something about an exterminator, and I don't have my gas mask. Yeah, you'd better get going. Thanks for your help, Walt. My pleasure. Until next time, this is Walter Wireless signing off. And that's the way it is. And that's the way it is. That's odd. The Greeks didn't use hieroglyphics. Wait a second. I recognize it now. It's the ancient hieroglyphic language of the infamous Minoan Musaka cult. Obviously. Musaka hieroglyphic reading is a little rusty, but I know I can figure this out. This symbol means fat. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I thought he was doing a bit. Okay. 
This symbol stands for happy. This must be a part of some sort of secret password or code phrase. It will be easy to get the skinny on this hieroglyphic. It means skinny. This symbol means girl. There we go. Looks like this secret passage isn't so secret anymore. Oh my god. Okay, so I need... what is your deal? Call it a snap judgment, but there's no way I'm going into that water. Here's where I keep... Oh, I probably need this. I probably need the suction shoes. Maybe I can scale this wall to get to the other side. It's too smooth. There's nothing to grab onto. Okay, we gotta get the, uh... Gotta get the shoes. Is he supposed to sound like Maxwell Smart? Probably. It seems like this one out of everything seems to have the... the most references. Lots of references. Lots of references that children would definitely pick up on. Absolutely. Could you remind me what these things are again, Professor? Yes, those are the suction cufflinks. They okay, let yeah, you yeah, climb yeah. a... Yeah, 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 that's what I want. Those are the suction cufflinks. It's interesting that they did a different, like, there's an America dub and a UK dub. I feel like that's an odd choice. Is that something they did often? Did other Humongous Entertainment games have UK dubs? Can I change it? That I don't actually know. Hold on. It would probably be in here, right? Hmm. Oh, I have no idea. In the UK dub, does he have as many? Is he always like making jokes? Are the lines basically the same? These suction couplings should help me form a closer attachment to this wall. It's a great noise. I'll leave my section cufflinks here in case I need to make a fast getaway later. Still jokes, but delivery is better. I'm not sure delivery's gonna <laughs> win me over. I'd better let Monkey Penny know I made it inside Kid's Secret Fortress. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Spy Fox, I'm glad you checked in. How's it going? Smooth. As smooth as sandpaper underpants. I just got into Kid's Secret Fortress. Excellent. Now you've got to disarm that milky weapon of destruction. Eh. I'm in there like swimwear. Spy Fox out. Do we have to? Um, should I go back and get... Here's where I keep... Uh, I'm gonna do this now. I'm gonna go back and get... I think there's only one more gadget that we have. I feel like we're gonna need it. The, the nickel that traps you in a net or whatever. Can I put the UK dub for my old review? I don't remember, honestly. I'm gonna play the UK dub next. Do all three games have two separate dubs? Did they do that for all games or just for uh, just for this one? Boop. 
Boo boo. Boo boo boo. That's one of those spy traps. That's the cheese and safe cracker. Okay. Okay. Well, if we can if we can find out how to get the uh, UK dubs working on the nice the Steam versions, I would I would like flip flop. We could do the UK dub for game number two, and then maybe put it to a poll for three. But I don't I don't know how to do that. I'll have to look it up. See you, Chaka. Congratulations again on uh, being subscriber of the month. <laughs> Do a dub wheel right after humongous wheel. I'll at least if I can. Here, I'll just search it now. While he's going across this wall. Uh. Okay, it looks like you can. I So we can do the UK version for two. I just have to remember to do it before I turn the game on. That thing is not only giving me the eye, it gave me the boot. I'd better look for a uniform. Okay. Interesting. This looks like some sort of locker room for kids' evil minions. Yeah, they're set as uh, like beta branches on Steam, so you have to go into the into the properties to choose the dub, but they it is there, which is nice. It's a secret passageway. So yeah, Star. What a clever secret entrance. William the Kid can go from the town square to his secret fortress anytime he wants. Yeah, I miss collecting things. I wish there was something I was collecting on different screens. Grande Fromaggio. Hmm, American Gothic. This seems to be some sort of multicolored lock mechanism. Okay, I need a safe combination. Oh wait, no, 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 no. I want to go out the. You have you collect stuff more in other games. You have an inventory in Ozone. Interesting. I like I said, I don't think I've ever played Ozone. I'd better leave this door unlocked in case I need to get back in here later. Okay. I wonder if I wonder if that would have unlocked if I hadn't done that. Yeah, I'm not even sure I've played the second Spy Fox. Let me look it up. Some assembly required. Yeah, I don't think I play. I don't think I played the second one. I think I've only played um, this one. You didn't know there was another Spy Fox. Yeah, th he got uh, he got three games, which is pretty good, least amount. Uh, but I think he was also the latest or the last addition to the the crew. Oh, I should try and go through more lockers. Good morning, Mr. Fox. Where is a yellow jumpsuit? A oh, yellow jumpsuit. The nectar of the goat's uniform. No one would recognize me in one of these. 
Ozone was one of the last HE games because Infogrames started gutting HE afterwards. That's sad. I wonder if it would even really be viable, though, like to do all this animation for a kid's game. I don't know. It seems expensive. Uh-oh. Someone's coming. I yeah, it's all hand-drawn. That seems like... It just seems like a lot. So that's the dastardly William the Shh. Kid that everyone so worked up about. Ms. Blue, take this piece of paper from the easel in my office. It has the location of the punch card written on it. You must destroy it. That punch card is the only thing that can disarm the milky weapon of destruction now. Right away, your Imperial Goatney. I've deposited the money in your bank account. Thanks for all your help. It's a pleasure doing business with you. Call me anytime. I need to get my hands on that punch card he mentioned. Happy that Humongous got separated from Infogrames and Atari. I, no one's original still there though, right? Aren't they just kind of marketing, uh, marketing and porting the the old games? This looks exactly like that diagram over in the locker room. Now I need to move these levers to the positions shown in the diagram. Okay. Yeah, what is Ron Gilbert doing? This must be where William the Kid keeps his controls for the milky weapon of destruction. I should let Monkey Penny know I've made it here. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Oh yeah, did they they did a new Monkey Island, huh? Good to hear from you. What's up? I'm in William the Kid's control room. The launching panel for the milky weapon of destruction is right here. Great. Now all you'll have to do is find the missing punch card so you can disarm the milky weapon of destruction. Right. That shouldn't be too difficult. Spy Fox out. Uh, Jarvis, the other two Spy Fox games are like uh, mini game spinoff things. Yeah, they're like little arcade games, kind of like uh, Pajama Sam Sockworks. Okay, how did I... Okay. Couldn't imagine there'd be an audience for kids these days for games like this. Yeah. It's probably true, too. I think whomever this belonged to had fleas. And it's like these games are, are still really good, so... Just as I suspected that you can see you could show these to your kids and there's it's plenty of gaming in the other room I have to remember that pattern Okay, so right left left up down Usually I wouldn't wear somebody else's clothes, but sometimes you have to walk on the wild side right left left up down if I don't remember the diagram, I can always go back to the locker room to check it again. They modernized the mechanics graphics. Kids would be into it. Maybe. I honestly have no idea. I just feel like especially because there's already... I mean, how many... Put, there's like seven Putt-Putt games, three Spy Fox games, three... Four Sam games and like five Freddy Fish games. I feel like there's a lot of these already to choose from. Is it seven? Yeah, it's seven putt putt games, I'm pretty sure. This must be some sort of tram to take people around in Kids Fortress. No, I agree. I think I that's that's kind of, that's what I'm saying is that these are don't need to be updated. You could you could give them to kids now. Uh, so as much as it would be cool to have new ones. It looks like a billboard. The library's already pretty stacked. They're on the Switch. Yeah, they're on like everything now. But but with a Fortnite gun doing TikTok dances, that'll that'll 
Yeah, that'll work. That's what I want to play. Oh, you mean for the children? Yeah. <laughs> hey, where do you think you're going? Oh, hi. I'm from the accounting office. I was asked to count all the offices. I need to get into that room and make sure it's really an office. If you're from the accounting office, you know perfectly well that this is William the Kid's office. No one but the Grand Goathead himself is allowed in there. Oh, right. Of course. How silly of me. That's the office that really counts. Sorry to bother you. Cry. I need to get into Kid's office and take a look around. Oh, is this what I need the... There's one sound the ear can hear better than any other. The sound of falling money. They should get a tickle from this nickel. The suspense. The suspense! Hey, what happened? We're trapped! He tricked us! This isn't good at all! Let us oh my it. god, shut up! Hey, folks, I'm on a mission. You must be one dedicated accountant! <laughs> oh, this must be Kid's secret volcano office. I should take a look around. Coming out. I think I just draw this here. Must be the paper William the Kid mentioned. Now, can I get the location of that punch card? I don't want to disturb any possible clues. I'll leave this paper here. But I'll draw on it, I guess. Oh, I see. I see. Mona, Goda, green, blue. Okay, green, blue, yellow. Green, blue, yellow. Remember green, blue, yellow. It would be silly not to snoop around Kid's office. I'll come back here later. Yeah, he won't notice that. He won't notice that. Right. Did I go the wrong way? Harold Halibut. Yeah, yeah. I'm interested in Harold Harold Halibut. Is it out yet? They used uh, Adventure Creator and Unity, which uh, is what I learned and have not really used yet. But I'm, I'm very interested to see what they did with it. Oh, it's out? When did it come out? How long did it end up being? Came out April 16th. Wikipedia lists it as a walking simulator. Walking simulator is now an accepted genre. Ooh, really good reviews. I do want to see it. I mean, it looks awesome. No, wrong room. Uh, for those who don't know, that's a... Uh, it's an adventure game where they... Um, hand... It's like stop motion animation. Everything's like a physical... Thing that they put in the game. It's pretty cool. I made an informed decision to take this uniform off. Yeah, I'm kind of the same uh, spider. I feel like uh, walking simulator is not a good <laughs> label. I've always wondered why anyone would pose for a picture while holding a pitchfork. You don't see something like that every day. Because they're more like 
they're more like instead of like an action adventure, they're more just the like real American Gothic was painted in an adventure. So why does that house have a TV antenna? Okay, what was it? Was it not red, blue, yellow, green, blue, yellow? It was close. This is such an obvious fake. Who does kid think he's kidding? It was this painting that inspired the native regionalist style, a style quickly embraced by the likes of Edward Hopper, Diego Rivera, and oh. Max Beckman. Since I own the original, this gotcha. must be a forgery. Sorry, I thought this was the only painting with the... I didn't realize they all had different... This is the last place in the world I uh, expected to see an original Van Gogh painting. I didn't realize they all had different locks or whatever. Whistler's goat? It couldn't be. What up, SNES? It's going all right. Interesting. Clothed goat descending staircase. The blue goat. This is quite a collection. <laughs> the blue goat. It's the famous Mona Gota painting. But what's it doing here? Now that's a button of a different color. <laughs> Aha! A secret wall safe. What an original hiding place. Did we get a combination? Ah yes, the Swiss made titanium D Oh no, I have a I have a thing to break this through a safe. A challenge. Uh Waxen MM, thank you very much for subscribing. This cheese and safe cracker kit should do the trick. Okay, now for the tricky part. This seems to be working. Opening this safe just got a whole lot easier. Is it gonna make me do anything? Okay. No way. A good spot close, but I've almost wrong number. Let me try another one. Is it right for? This seems to be working. One more to go. Do I have to go all the way around? Okay, I don't have to go all the way around in that one. Those must be the punch cards. What was I just got stuck on a combination lock recently? Which which one was that? Uh also I have no idea. I wonder if this punch card will work. Can I just have them all? Give another one. Oh, it was clue. I'd better close the safe. I don't want anyone to suspect that it's been tampered with. Okay, and I use the punch card. Uh. Oh, oh, oh. It's back in here. Right? Where the fuck did I need the punch card? I guess every hero needs a uniform. This just isn't the one I pictured myself in. No? Putting a... I better put this disguise back on. Out of it today? I'm a little out of it today, yeah. <laughs> Glad I'm not alone. Uh, am I winning? I think so. If I can remember where the fucking punch card goes. We haven't called anybody. No, we've not played Operation Ozone yet, no. Thanks, Monkey Penny. It's nice to know you care. Nah. I just want you to use that punch card to disarm the Milky Weapon of Destruction and save the world. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I know where I'm going. Okay. I think. <laughs> I think. No, where 
use that. You like the tram noise? It's very Jetsons. Gotta be. Oh. I can. Okay, okay. I was like, I can picture it. I hope this is the right punch card. I knew it. I don't know how or why that was the right punch card, but I knew it. the trick. Once again, I've saved the world from a horrible, or in this case, smelly fate. Now I need to go get that goat. Not so fast, my crafty friend. You may think you have outfoxed me by disarming my milky weapon of destruction, but I'm afraid it's too late to save your precious cows. It's over, Billy. Give yourself up. Don't ever call me Billy. It's William. And it's not over yet, my foxy nemesis. <laughs> I feel like when that's such I a strange thing to get upset about. Lever, the cow's stables will become completely flooded with milk. And that will be the end of the dairy world as we know it. That's the most despicable thing I've ever seen. Eh. Eh. <laughs> Man, this is really rich. Kid, you're kidding yourself if you think I'm going to let you get away with this. It's too late. And now, if you'll excuse me, Mr. Fox, I have a flight to catch on my giant metallic getaway blimp, where mm. I will implement my plan to take over the world, filling it with my delicious goat byproducts. Delicious? You must be insane. Insane, you say? You're the crazy one, if you think you can save the cows. Adios, Mr. Fox. And good luck finding this secret passageway to the stables. You'll need it. Stupid door. Thanks for leaving a little clue, kid. Now all I have to do is find that ascot. Ass. Cut. What is with the goat milk cake? They just didn't like goat milk, man. They also don't like feta cheese, apparently. That's Kid's ascot. This must be the secret passageway to the stables where Kid is holding the cows. I, I haven't had goat milk, but I've had like, I've had like almond milk and I didn't love it. I feel like goat milk would probably be better. If that's a, if, is there goat milk? Can you drink goat milk? Those empty to go containers look strangely familiar. Is goat milk something you can like get and drink? Goat milk is great. Goat milk is weird, but you don't think it deserves to slander. It's true, you can drink any milk you want. That's true. That's true. Good point. This should be easy. Uh oh. I can't swim past these alligators. They're looking at me like I'm bait. Here's where I keep my spy gadgets. You want some money? That's not going to do me any <laughs> alligators. They look. That's not going to do me any alligators. Like fox meat. Uh, why don't you just? There has got to be a way. Those empty to-go containers look strangely familiar. 
In fact, they're looking at me like I'm some sort of fox burger. They're looking at me like I'm some sort of fox burger. These alligators look, these alligators look, these alligators look, these alligators look, they're looking at me like I'm, these alligators look, it seems that the, they're looking at me like, if only I knew, these alligators look famished. Okay, we gotta find some food. I got a shoe and I got gum. <laughs> Throw yourself in. Do it for the cows! Here's where I keep my spy gadget. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Let me go. I want to go back and look at the room really quick. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. We got to go use the beet sauce. We got to go get some food and, and put the alligators to sleep with. What is it called? Beet? Beet sauce. Now it's not the secret sauce. It was beet. Beet something. Something beets. It was a secret sauce. I thought the beet one. Oh no, the beet one just said it smells funny. That's right. Yeah, there is a decent amount of back and forth, but I feel like there's back and forth in all of these games. I think that's just the nature of the beast. Oh, yeah, I could have used the shortcut. Well, I'll use it on the way back. <laughs> I forgot about it. Honestly, the layout... The layout of this one's a little confusing. I understand the layout here, but once we get into the... actual, um... evil headquarter factory place, I definitely get lost. Secret sauce may cause drowsiness in alligators. So can I have that? Can I buy some sauce? We don't sell the condiments, honey. But you're free to put them on your food. Well, give me some food. For a spy on the go, I recommend the chicken knuckles. It's your funeral, honey. <laughs> Why? <laughs> but why, though? Encore! Encore! Okay. It says, secret sauce. Do I dare be? You tell me, spy guy. Remember the, remember the ketchups? The blue, green, purple ketchups? Those were the days. I hated it. <laughs> I think we tried the purple one and I, I did not like it. Shrek? They weren't Shrek themed. I mean, they maybe brought it back for Shrek, but they weren't. I, I forget what the, they called it. Every hero needs a uniform. This just isn't the one I pictured myself in. What was it called? Easy Squirt. Heinz Easy Squirt. Like, where is it? It's this way? Yeah, I remember getting the purple one. I'd be like, I gotta try it! And then I didn't... I didn't like it. But I, I'm obviously my... Parents were like, well, you gotta eat it, because... <laughs> We got this fucking purple ketchup for you. You gotta finish it. All right. Let's see how the chicken knuckles seasoned with secret sauce affect the gators. Oh, 
Easy squirt is what happens after you eat it. <laughs> Okay, I'm glad it wasn't the only one, because... I mean, now, now I tell myself that, oh, it probably tasted just fine, and I, I didn't like that it looked purple. Did it have a flavor? See, I don't remember. It's too, it's too old for me to remember, but... I just remember disliking the taste. The kidnapped dairy cows. Ah. I've found them. Hang on, everyone. My name is Spot. I mean, won't Spot, they just and I'll rescue you shortly. raise all the way up? Milk, and I'll be right there. They'll like raise all the way up and then just like get out. <laughs> Time to do a video on Heinz Easy Squirt. Hold on, let me see if anyone on eBay is. I mean, I wouldn't eat it. It's too old. Maybe. How much do we think Heinz? Easy squirt is. Holy shit. A sealed purple Heinz Easy Squirt ketchup for $700 or best offer. Do you think they would take like $5? There's a lot of Easy Squirt like plush toys. Like it's the bottle, but they ha they're smiling and waving. Okay, yeah, I'll, be, I'll I'll try that. I'll I'll offer five dollars and see what they say. That's the only one I see on here, though. Everything else is just a plush, a plush toy. It can't be safe to eat, but it's sealed. <laughs> it's it's sealed, right? Free range. One spy fox, but you're wrong. Go ahead, free the cows this time, but I'll be back to milk the world yet again. Nice. <laughs> Not so fast, kid. The last thing the world needs is another escaped goat. Shoot it down. William the Kid next time and put him where he belongs. Jail. How do you get the good ending? Later that day. For outstanding heroism and suaveness, I award you, Spyfall. Click, click what? The little Daddy Congressional Cookie of Justice. Why, thank you, man. Run after him. How? He was in a blimp. William the Kid to justice. I'm confident that you'll nab that villain next I gotta get on the car? The truck in the hole. Well, obviously. I've got my cookie. Has anyone got milk? Well, how far back will it take me if I just... Uh, I guess I didn't save, huh? Uh, I'm going to call it good there. I, cons I considered redoing it, but if, if the pathways changed, I'm not going to know what the fuck to do. That's why you got to save. I didn't know. I didn't know. Spam escape to skip the cutscenes. Told me to save. I didn't see it. <laughs> People tell me a lot of things while I'm streaming. Well, much like um, Pajama Sam taking a massive dump, if you want to see the good ending there, uh, you can look it up on YouTube, I'm sure. How many people are going to run out to see the good ending versus how many people ran out to see Pajama Sam take a shit, huh? That's that's the those are the numbers I want to know. Okay, so that's done on Spy Fox One. And now you guys get a chance to find Pep. If uh, you can locate Pep behind one of these doors, I will gift five subs to the community. Now, if you don't find Pep, 
I will be banning five subscribers permanently. So uh, choose wisely. Choose wisely. <laughs> Yep. It's a high pressure situation here. This is how I want to look on stream. What? How'd you guys feel if this is how I lit myself for just like for the rest of this, uh, every stream from here on out? I want to be nice and red while the background's all blue. Do I look angry? That angry? Something like that. Oh, it's close. Okay, it's close. I'm gonna close my eyes, get your votes in. Gonna do like a five, four, three, two, one. It's door number three. Oh, so close. Separated by one vote. Door number three. Survey says. Oh, there he is. Good job. Hold on, let me, uh... I was not prepared. I was not prepared for success. Not because I doubted you, but because I'm just generally unprepared as a person. Also, does it sound weird? I'm talking into both of my microphones at the same time, which I typically don't do. Can we still ban the subscribers? Sure. Sure, why not? Uh, congratulations, London Fay. Bear Slashy, Duckmo, Bow Cool, and Mr. Shreams on catching those subs. Uh, now, give me a second. I'm going to reset the doors. Oh, SNES Dreamland, thank you so much for gifting a sub. Thank you, thank you. Hold on. Let me, uh, I'm going to rejumble the doors and then we can vote off some, uh, Subscribers. I had to. I had to ban a subscriber earlier today. I got. Uh, sorry for my, if my playthrough uh, dropped off in quality there. I got a little flustered, but we're back. I think I'll do one more. I hope it's not Spy Fox. I hope it's a putt putt. I want to do a putt putt. Okay. Okay, I'm back over here. Wait the pies? Yeah, Chaka got banned for being sub of the month. That's exactly what happened. <laughs> Add Riven to the mix for laughs. I do think, I think maybe after uh, we're done with the humongous wheel. I do think I'm just gonna hand pick some things for us to play before we dive into another bingo. I love the bingo, but there's some things I actually want to play. Never played these games as a kid. You missed out. Well, now you can play them now, or you can watch me play them. I, you know, I'm a child at heart now. I'm not even a child at heart. I'm an old man. Here we go. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Well, we're going to play Spy Fox 2. Uh, let me get. Uh, I'm going to take a bathroom break real quick before we get started and maybe get some more G Fuel. Okay. Take a, take a little break. Take a. Oh, yeah. We got to do UK dub. Remind me when I get back that we gotta do UK dub because I gotta do it before we start. Uh, I'll be right back though. I'll be right back.
All right. I'm back. Why are the dogs shiny? What's shiny? Glossy wieners. What is... What is... What? <laughs> UK dub. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Got it. We're going to end up playing putt-putt games back-to-back -back at the end? I mean, that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Okay. Oh, wait, no. I got, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yep, straight to Spy Fox 2. All right. Let me chug some some G fuel real quick. I'm back at I'm back in it. I'm back in it. Oh shit. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. I'll be right back actually. Hold on. It'll be it'll be shorter than before. Hold on. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, all right. Oh, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> Sorry about that. I've got a laptop here watching like uh sub sub messages and stuff, and it was running out of battery, so I had to run real quick and get my charger. Oh yeah, uh, I was pissing my pissing my pants also. Sorry. Yeah. Pissing my pants, shitting my shorts. You know, just another day. They get the new Agatha release that's two hours. I have no idea what that is, Moss Badger. What is it? What's Agatha? Okay. Okay. Ready? Here we go. Wait. No, this is just the same game we just played. Hold on. Where did it go? Hold on. Oh. Okay, we have to wait just a second. It's like downloading the dub, I guess. Since I switched it to UK dub, it's gotta I gotta give it a second. Yeah, I got I gotta get the British plug in. Any other games we're looking forward to? I feel like PJ Sam 3 I like. And then uh the next two putt-putt games are pretty good. Putt-putt zoo. Putt-putt zoo is great. Okay. Okay. Here we go. What the f ba 
ba-ba-ba. I don't understand scum VM. It's like sometimes the sometimes the commands work, sometimes they don't work. Boo! Okay, I'm just gonna have to play this one small, I think. I'm trying to upscale it. It doesn't like it. Alright. Okay, this time for real, it's good. This time for real, we're going. I think. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, yeah. Okay, here we go. Somewhere oh my god, that's a lot loud. So, Agent Gracefully, you're part of our spy exchange program from Canada? Try not to say my name too often. I'm trying to travel incognito. Actually, you're traveling in the Alps. What do you have there? I got something very important out of a smelly dustbin. Well, of course it's smelly if you got it out of a dustbin. You need a hobby. No. Not smelly, smelly as the dustbin of meaningless evil, <laughs> larceny, lying, and yelling. Of course, our evil nemesis. Spy Fox, you've got to get this rubbish bag to Spy Corps headquarters. No, I've got a better idea. I'd better get this bin bag to Spy Corps headquarters. Oh, and take this gadget from Professor Quack. You may need it. What is it? Dehydrated skis. Inside of this little peel is a pair of skis. Little All peel. Is add water. And pray tell, why would I need a pair of skis? I came to get information, not recreation. You may need them to get away from those villains. Good luck, Spy Fox. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, see, that's how I'm going to New York later. Villains. Got any water, chaps? Yum, yum. That doesn't seem... <laughs> Why can't he say bad guys? Well, who's to say that the villains are bad, really? That's that's pretty judgmental. I've got to get out of here. Although this would be a nice cottage for a weekend, I've got to get this bag to Spy Corps headquarters. For a weekend? Moss Badger, thank you for the $2 and change. Agfa is America Genre Film Archive. It's a DVD of vintage intermission clips like you use. Interesting. Thanks so much, Moss Badger. I'll check that out. I need my weekend cottage. Oh, this is like, uh, this is just like, is it Rhyme in Mist, The Last Age? It's a bucket of water. It's a bucket of water. Water, work your magic. <laughs> now his voice is exactly the same. Skis are now rehydrated. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Feet don't fail me now. Skis, I mean. We just played Spy Fox 1 and you guys think his voice changed? It's clearly the same guy. Which way should I go? Are there options? Oh. I wonder which way I should go. Well, I wonder. Yeah, so... With my Olympic ski ability... Uh, I'm playing the Steam version, and you are able to switch between the two dubs on the Steam version. With my Olympic ski ability, I... <laughs> 
No, they default to the U.S. dub. Did you miss me, Chief? So, you've analyzed the dustbin, I see. What have you found? A very big hand. It's a box for a one to one thousand scale model of an evil robot. On the side, it says, some assembly required. Sounds like an excellent title for one of my adventures. It has a mailing label that reads, to La Roche, care of Chateau La Roche, World's Fair. Inside the box are the assembly instructions. You'd better take these with you, Spy Fox. Gosh, you can learn a lot by reading. If Smelly is involved, <laughs> yeah. they must be up to their usual no goodness. You had better investigate this world's fair. Monkey Penny and Quack have already set up the mobile command center. I'm on my way, Chief. What is Chief? Yeah, is Chief just one big hand? Spy Fox, are you okay? Shaken but not stirred, Monkey Penny. I hit the wrong button. So, it looks like we're onto something big. Yes, I think Smelly is up to some monkey business, Monkey Penny. And it looks like it's up to you and me and Professor Quack to get to the bottom of it. Maybe I have played this one. Well, have I streamed this me, one? Anyway, Monkey Penny. I brought the assembly instructions I got out of the smelly rubbish bag. Well, of course it's smelly if you got it out of a dust no? spy fox. No, Monkey Penny. Not smelly. Smelly. As in... Smelly. For meaningless evil larceny lying and yelling. Our evil nemesis. Why don't you leave those assembly instructions here with me? Then you can refer to them whenever you How are we feeling about this dub? I think the dub is quite nice, remember, Sticky Wicket. And contact me via your spy watch at any time. Don't forget to look at the spy vending machine, Spy Fox. It's full of new gadgets for you to try out. I'm sure you'll find some of them quite useful. Thanks. Now I need to get busy and give that LaRoche at the Chateau LaRoche a visit and find out just what he's up to. Rubbish bins. This is a rather smart looking device. What is it? One of those novelty gadgets that lets you see what you look like in 50 years? It's an ID. Ooh, maker. I want that. My own creation, of course. It's for making identification cards. Fascinating. How does it work? You place a photo in the photo slot, choose an occupation. I don't like quack. Any name you like, then press the perfect ID button. A completed ID will pop out of the machine. Professor, you're amazing. What if I make an ID card, but then I change my mind and want to make a different one? Well, if you don't like the ID you created, you can make another card. Just Reset the name and occupation, insert a new photo, then press the process ID button again. That sounds like fun. Creating false ID cards is something only secret agents can do. And then <laughs> only when we're on a case. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Okay. The fingerprint replicator utensil kit. How does this work, Professor Quack? You lap this one up, Spy Fox. You place the fingerprint sending fork device on your target's plate. Then, when they pick it up to start eating, their fingerprint oh my God. will show up on the I really don't like Quack. Device. This uh... is down one of your best spy gadgets yet, Professor Quack. Mm, I hope to follow it up with a matching salt and pepper shaker. That's a, that's a pretty good uh, gadget, maybe though. Maybe I mix these with a little goat's milk. Mm, mm, maybe not a good idea. That's Take that. the fingerprint yeah, gimme. utensil kit. Gimme. You love Quack's voice. Yeah, he eats the blueprints. He ducks need their fiber, obviously. You just hook up the handy nozzle, then press vacuum to suck up the particles into the handy travel bag. Or press reverse back 
to blow the particles housed in the travel bag back out through the nozzle attachment. And it does it all in perfect silence. Ingenious, Professor Quack. I prefer those between two slices of bread. But when duty calls... Wait, he eats blueprint sandwiches? Um, I'm just gonna That's the stealth just bag. take everything, right? Well, as much as I can. <laughs> Literally a vacuum cleaner, but he invented it, okay? But he invented it. Spy heat. This looks like hot work. How does this gadget work, Professor Quack? Now, this gadget I'm really proud of. You can spray it on something, say like a thermometer, and watch the temperature rise right before your eyes. Now that's a gadget that really Please stop rises. talking to Quack. I gotta know what we have in our arsenal, though. Right. Now that's a gadget that really rises to the occasion. Hmm, uh, light on the palate, rough on the tummy. Uh-huh. What's next? I bet these are cool spy skates. They look sharp, Professor Quack. How do they work? <laughs> mute the game. We can't mute the. I agreed to the UK dub. This is this is what we're in for. But being in the spy biz never left time for the years of training. So I created these. You simply slip them on and insert a diagram of the skate maneuver you want to perform. Uh huh. And voila! The skates with you in them perform it perfectly. Well, those could help to put the villains in the cooler. Ah, um, uh, uh, uh right, my fox. Oh, wow. <laughs> the, the, the subtitle said thin ice. <laughs> the dub went for cooler. A spy key replicator cat. Yeah, we'll do a vote for the dub on Spy Fox 3. That's a one-shot camera like no other in the world. It's specifically made for replicating keys. You take a picture of the key you want to replicate, then bake it in an oven. The picture shrinks and hardens into an exact duplicate. I like the... Uh... I mean, I like this the gadget ideas. Oh, yeah, stick figure fox. If you bake a picture into the wrong key, just insert the key back into the camera, and it will turn back into key film. I'm sorry, what did you say? <laughs> My own voice sounds just like the duck. I, I have a feeling we're gonna, the UK dub's going to win the vote. We'll see. The termite grenade. I'm sure this gadget isn't bug-free, Professor Quack. How does it work? You've got to be careful with this one, Spy Fox. Toss it at something made of wood and get out of the way. It loaded for one serious pulping. That's not something you want later. Does it need to be a grenade? Can you not just release termites somewhere? These blueprints are an acquired taste that I have acquired. Yeah, I weirdly feel like Spy Fox, like Fox's dubs, or his puns might be less grating with an accent uh, to keep me entertained. An alarm deactivator. What in the world could this gadget be used for? Well, it's, um, it's used to turn off alarms. You attach one end to where the alarm signal is coming in, and then attach the other end to where the alarm signal is going out. The alarm signal is then redirected harmlessly into the alarm deactivator, keeping the alarm from going off. It just looks like a wire with two alligator clips on either end. Yes, it's beautiful in its simplicity, isn't it? UK dub ruins the nostalgia. Well, now it's like a brand new Spy Fox game. So it's like you get to experience a whole new thing, kind of. You're still here? They say that the longest journey begins with but a single step, Spy Fox. 
proverbs, eh? I've got one. Early to bed and early to rise will keep a man healthy unless he eats too many french fries. You need to get out there and start your mission, Spy Fox. Fine. Pajam Wait, Pajama Sam had a UK dub? Hold on. That can't be true. Okay, I, I can't access it. It doesn't look like I can access it on Steam. Okay, I can't I can't confirm the the validity of that statement. for each game no no I mean if I would go back and check that out for pajama Sam but I'm not gonna do that while we play through I'm fine ruining chats nostalgia for things that I'm not nostalgic about but I'm nostalgic for pajama Sam so he needs to sound like Bobby Hill it says world's fair I definitely played this one are you guys sure I didn't stream this Maybe I was going to try and do a video on this and I just played it and then never did. UK dub of Sam? This better be actually what this is. Hold on. A handy dandy pajama man superpower back says different. Pajama man! Exactly. Oh, great! Yeah! Wait a minute. It's okay. It's just a little thunder and lightning. <laughs> thunder and lightning aren't so frightening. Thunder <laughs> and lightning aren't so frightening. Thunder and lightning aren't so frightening. <laughs> Maybe next time we play... Uh... Do they have one for the first game? <laughs> Because uh, I definitely would, next time I play it, I definitely would use it, if that's possible. It says, Chateau La Roche service entrance. Do you ever feel bored having the job of a security it's guard? It's so, that's so oh, strange. Oh, I ever get bored. So, wait, wait. So the first one doesn't have the dub. A free photo booth. Just one of the many joyous pleasures in life. Okay, I gotta, I gotta stop, I gotta... <laughs> I gotta stop thinking about British Pajama Sam. Or I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna move on. Uh, I, let's just dial into Spy Fox here for a second. Okay, what... what? <laughs> Are you happy with your job as a security guard? Oh yes, quite happy, thank you. Although I'd rather be enjoying the quiet safety of skydiving, as long as it doesn't get me in touch with nature, without a parachute. Okay. This guy wants to skydive? Excuse me, sir. What seems to be the problem? Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad tidings, but unfortunately, I cannot allow you to enter through the service entrance. I'm sorry, but I can only let dishwashers with proper ID in today. See? It has the job title of dishwasher and a matching photo. I seem to have lost my ID. Can you let me in without one? I feel your pain, sir. Really, I do. Unfortunately. It seems that I'll have to find a way to get the proper ID. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> well, contain yourselves, chat. Wrestler. Fisherman. Dishwasher. Jockey. Ballerina. <laughs> Clown. Cashier. Clowns are very trendy nowadays. Tourist. Golfer. Waitress. Wrestler, fisherman, dishwasher. Okay. Oh, the background. France. 
dentist nun a re front dentist what nun arena okay we're gonna be dishwasher in france i guess I look ridiculous. Yep. I have no idea if I was supposed to be in a specific place or not. Excellent. The photo's in place. My name Brian. is Brian. Nancy. Wait. Brian. Roscoe. Morris. Morris? Reginald. Dave. Chuck. Trey. Nell. Rudy. Rudy. Fred. Carlton. <laughs> Muriel. Nancy. Brian. Morris. Okay. Bra Nancy. This is just another another day in the life of Nancy Drew. Oh wait, no, it says it says ho ho helicopter pilot. Identification card is complete. No, I got a I I no. expect that this will come in quite handy. Cashier. Journalist. Ballerie. Conduct. Wait. Wait. Conductor. Band leader. Waitress. Professional cricketer. Professional bowler. Astronaut. Dishwasher. Okay, I gotta go get another photo because I fucked that up. Yeah, it's interesting to see what they did and didn't change. So the subtitles... Are the subtitles the U.S. subtitles? Because in the last game... Uh... It didn't really seem like... They matched up either all the time. I look ridiculous. Yeah, cricket is, is British bowling. Yeah. <laughs> I've, n I've never heard it described that, that way, but... Yeah, you could make the argument. I don't know that you'd be correct, but you could make the argument. There. Now I can make an ID card. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I would assume that bowler is a cricket position, yeah. Because they do... They do bowl. It's just not bowling. Hmm. I already have an ID card, and I don't really need to. I know. I'll just recycle the old card and keep this one instead. I expect that this will come in quite handy. Yeah, you you throw it at the wicket. Cricket, I there was a time where I tried to totally understand all the ins and outs of cricket, and I, I got some of it, but not all of it. Why? Oh, that's when I was I was working as a as a janitor and I had a lot of downtime, so I was sitting at the computer in my office a lot, and I just decided to research cricket. <laughs> Here you are, sir. One dishwasher ID card. Oh my! I'm so happy that you were able to find it. Let me guess, it was in your other trousers, wasn't it? Why, yes, it was. You must be psychic. If you'll excuse me, I'm late for work, and they need me in the restaurant. Oh, I understand. I won't keep you any longer. I'll just keep your ID on file for you, Nancy. Keep up the good work. Have a spectacular day. And if I don't see you tomorrow... Then what? Then what? Someone in the kitchen will die, no! Perhaps you'd like to share one then of the many high He died in a, a skydiving what? accident? Once I swallowed a whole container of yeast. I suppose that's one way to get a rise out of the chef.
Blip, blip, blip. Why don't we ever see hot dogs acting in films? They never get any good roles. Stir, stir, oh my god. Stir. This is going to be really tough for me because I'm going to be reading the subtitles when they're different and then I'm not going to have digested either. Are there any great culinary moments in Grand Opera? Yes, in Hansel and Gretel when they cook the witch. It was dreadful. Would you have preferred a different ending? No, I would have used a bay leaf and a lot more pepper. Someone in the kitchen with Dinah. That's a great looking oven. May I try it, please? Sorry, insurance regulations strictly prohibit the use of this oven by anyone other than a trained chef. You don't look anything like a Can chef. I try your oven? That's a strange question. Ah, Napoleon LaRoche. I should have known you'd taken up with the likes of Smelly. So, Spy Corps has sent the famous Spy Fox to try and stop my plans for world domination. World domination? Uh, of course. Uh, since you are one of the few people who could possibly understand my genius, I will explain my entire plan to you in nauseating detail. You see, I reversed the scale on this smelly evil dog butt assembly instructions. I've created a thousand to one scale fully functioning evil dog butt. Just where do you think you can hide such a monstrosity? You silly spy, you're standing in it. Of course, <laughs> you've disguised the evil dog butt as the centerpiece for the World's Fair. Complete with a revolving restaurant. One has to eat, no? Observe the means to my world domination. People buying tickets for the World's Fair do not realize that as they file through the turnstile, they are unwittingly winding the highly advanced oh, I like that, though. work mechanism within the evil dog butt. You keep hearing dog butt? The <laughs> person has filed through the dog butt, now wound to maximum capacity, will embark upon its horrifying rampage of destruction. <laughs> Once I have unleashed the dog about all the world's leaders will <laughs> sit up and beg for mercy. It is unstoppable. It cannot be called off because it has no off switch. Yes, I have removed the off switch and hidden it somewhere in the world's fair. So cleverly, so subtly, that you will never find it. That's what you think, LaRoche. I'm gonna find it, maybe. Even if you did find the off switch, you would still need the activation code to turn the switch off. And even if you had the off switch and the activation code, you could never hope to get past the diabolically clever security device located in the evil dogbot's Achilles heel, which is the only way into the dogbot's inner workings. It is hopeless, Monsieur Le Fox. There's no way you can beat me! <laughs> You'll never get away with this, LaRoche. Oh, I think Just, I like, will. Just like squish him. And now, right? Monsieur Spy Fox, add you. Climb into the dog butt. <laughs> I'll get right on that bit. <laughs> <laughs> Judging by those monstrous metallic molars, I've been imprisoned in the dog butt's mouth. How humiliating. I must find a way out of this cell so I can stop that evil roach. Uh, uh, if only I could reach that fire escape through these teeth. I can gather information about La Roche with this talk balloon. Okie dokie. This is like Inuyasha. Yeah, exactly. You know, I had that. I was thinking the exact same thing, Cosmo. This is a lot like Inuyasha. I don't know if you guys have watched Inuyasha, but... It's like one-to-one. One. LaRoche's thugs didn't follow the assembly instructions closely enough. 
They seem to have left a few gears missing out of this contraption. This gear must go somewhere in here. This gear is too this gear is too this gear this gear is too this gear is too big to go there this gear is this gear is too big to go this gear is too big to go there this gear is too small this gear is too small i wonder where this gear is this gear is too small don't worry i got it <laughs> that did the trick <laughs> uh this is uh this is spy fox 2 uh ratchet cat we just started. It doesn't feel like we just started because they had to talk a lot, but here we well, go. Well, I suppose it's like they say, the tooth shall set you free. Talk about escaping by the skin of your teeth. Now to stop the roach and his evil plans for world domination. Yeah, they talk a lot. Oh my god, speaking of. Better answer it. Please stand by. Spy Fox, Agent Water Wireless has intercepted a microfish message from Dotty Dash. Where's it coming from? It from Betty Bumper. Like coming from an exhibit called We World. We World, eh? Ah, my Sounds favorite. <laughs> Water Wireless needs to get closer. I like to, to vacation to We World. The mobile command center. Uh, in the by summers. The way, I've recorded Napoleon <laughs> the Roach's evil plans on my spy watch, and I'm sending the plan to you via the spy watch. I look forward to hearing the crack. Monkey Penny out. We World's got a really uh, beautiful golden hour, you know? It's just, it's just real beautiful <laughs> over in We World. Welcome to you clone it where you, you get, get two 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 for the price of one Bleh. Stereo sheep. I'm doll and I'm Lee. Hello dolly. So nice to have you back where you belong Okay, so if I need to clone some food What is the, th what's the theme of this park? So what brought about food? this whole food on a stick idea? Well, love, did you the ever world's fair? Make okay. a stick in your food and think to yourself, I could make this into a profitable business. Not in a while. Is it supposed to be Irish? What kind of foods don't go on sticks? Any food can go on a stick, darling. You just have to freeze some. The spaghetti lolly's very popular. I'm sure it is. Although that looks <laughs> shaped like that, that's I a normal shape to be, right Cosmo. That's that's my uh, that's what I'm going for. That's my ideal shape right there. I would like to look like that. Ooh, from Yucko. Lad on a stick. <laughs> Howie. <laughs> In four delicious flavors. Bacon, bacon. Kiwi pork. Creamed corn and cabbage. And lard flavored lard. Isn't there anything Yucko can't do? Uh, uh, wouldn't you like to know, Jimmy? Wouldn't you like to know? Lad on a stick. I should have dubbed that. That was a very American sounding voice. I may be uncomfortable. You guys haven't had kiwi pork? Delicious. Something seems fishy. Cod, bear your soul. I'm sadder than an octopus on crutches at a ball. In the old days, it never failed. The caped cod would dazzle and amaze with his mighty cape of joy before the finale. A shot 
out of the cannon. Sounds exciting. Then one fateful day, we were at a sea monkey convention, and my assistants Goldie and Blow were setting up my act. My lucky clear goggles were stolen, and in their place instead were a pair of dark goggles. So what you're saying is that you need your lucky clear goggles. Have you ever tried to steer yourself with dark goggles after you've been shot out of a cannon, son? Not lately, no. Well, it's impossible to see the target. He looks like, uh, what's the guy from Spongebob with the pickles? Uh, something bass guy? He looks like that guy. How about lending me your Bubble bass. goggles? Yeah. Since I don't have my lucky clear goggles, I need something to wear for me act. Even though these ones are so dark, I keep missing me target. I say, Cod, can I borrow those dark goggles? Oh, he just goggles? said no, didn't he? You can't borrow these until I get my lucky clear goggles back. I need these for my act until then. Okay, so we're looking for clear goggles and some type of food to clone, I suppose. <laughs> God, a lot is going on. What's this? It looks like a pair of binoculars. Hmm. Whatever that thing is, it's letting that baddie type with the glasses on into the evil dogbot's Achilles heel. It looks like some kind of breath analyzer. They're Bad guy type? Rose tint on that screen to make out what breath it's showing. That breath analyzer is letting that baddie type with the glasses the on into type. the evil dogbot's Achilles heel. Hmm. I still can't see what breath is shown on the screen. They're the hesitant to call the villains villains, screen to see it looks anything. like. Or bad guys. No, we called them villains. The baddie type. Okay. I gotta say, I like... I like some of Spy Fox, but honestly, the the puns are uh, are wear, wearing on me. Hmm, that bad fellow put on those glasses, breathed on that breath <laughs> device, and the secret door opened. That must be the secret door LaRoche mentioned that leads to the inner workings of the evil dogbot. I need to figure out how to get in there. That bad fellow over there. These rose-tinted glasses might come in handy. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to go there yet. I do like the art style, though. I feel like they toned down... In this one, they toned down the mismatch coloring so much. Like, in the first game, like, everything was colored out of the lines. And, like, these here. And I think they've calmed it a bit or made it a, look a little nicer. Uh, Where was I? Was I... Was I in here? No. Is this plant world? Correct, my dear. I am Madam Ladybird, the slightly irritated owner of Plant World. Instead of the beauteous red rose I ordered, I have been sent a mutant... I didn't ask for your life story. ...by Napoleon LaRoche. Nice cage, though. A locked cage, for which I have no combination. Oh, no. This particular Venus flytrap has something in its mouth. Interesting. It's the off switch. How diabolical of LaRoche to feed it to a mutant Venus flytrap. I've got to get it out of there and find a rose for the ladybird. No small feat. 
I can use this talk balloon to gather information about getting a rose for Madame Ladybird. Okay, I need a rose. Love the art in uh, Ozone. I liked the art in the first one. Uh, but like I said, I feel like it looks... I mean, there's the thing is they're still doing the color outside the line thing. And they're just doing it in a way that doesn't look as uh, distracting to me. God, where the fuck was I just at? I was just at... Operation Ozone Art is totally different. Okay. That villain put on those glasses. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Breath device. I got it. I got it. Door opened. Yeah. I need to find where the binoculars were, but I don't. Oh, were they up and over? Okay, they were up and over. I'd better answer my spy. We have to stand by. Spy Fox, an informant has a hot tip about the off switch and is waiting for you at the Food of the Future exhibit. Ask for the toffee apple. The toffee apple. Got it. Thanks. Monkey Penny signing off. Spy Fox, the toffee apple. Very strange weather we're having, eh? Everything's grand when you have food on sticks, don't mm -hmm. you think, sweetie? <laughs> yes, I suppose so. So that's my contact, eh? Brilliant disguise. I'd like a toffee apple, please. Certainly, sir. Here at Food of the Future, all food is on sticks. I got it, it I got you it. You to enjoy your favorite foods without using a knife or fork or having to stop what you're doing. Here you go, a free toffee apple on a stick sample. Well, I have the toffee apple. Isn't that just grand? Yes, but I, meaning me, have in my possession the toffee apple. Only one toffee apple sample per customer. Now run along and enjoy the fair, pumpkin. Maybe she wants me to come back when there are fewer people around. Oh, well, this toffee apple looks good. What? What? What you oh. doing? Do you want to give me a coronary? Ah, Lenny. You're the apple of my eye. What information do you have for me? Hi, Spy Fox. Listen close. There are spies everywhere, so don't look directly at me. This leaf contains the information that you need. This is too small to read. What do you want from me? I wrote it with my teeth. Now, I've got to scram. People are starting to stare. Throw me in the rubbish dip. Suit yourself. Thought it was the dust bin. The rubbish what? I'm all right. Save yourself. The rubbish dip. I've never heard. I. That's a new one for me. Rubbish dip. Why did it just say moan? He was moaning. Interesting. <laughs> Tip. Wheelie carts are called tips. The dip or tip? This is really gonna help my, uh, oh, bip, obviously. This is really gonna help my uh, British accent. If I want to see the fair in a rosy glow, I need to put the glasses on first. Oh. Everything looks rosy behind a pair of rose-tinted glasses. Is that a joke? I can see that villain breathing into the analyzer. Something's appearing on the screen. It looks like Onion Delight. Yeah, that's... Breath Analyzer is checking for the aroma of Onion Delight. That's what I was going to say. Onion Delight, definitely. I just need to eat some Onion Delight and breathe into that Breath Analyzer, and then I'll be able to get in that evil dog bot. I can use this talk balloon to gather information about the Breath Analyzer food, Onion Delight. Any UK fans out there enjoy good Onion Delight? 
never I've never had an onion delight. <laughs> I like onion. <laughs> Oh, Bloomin' Onion, yeah. Yeah, we call them Bloomin' Onions over here. Pretty sure I ate an Onion Delight in the Costco Frozen Food vid. What What was it? I don't, I don't remember that video. <laughs> I don't remember that video. The video was a long time ago. It was like a year ago or something. <laughs> we World, it's finally. We World. It sure does. You must be the guard who defends this place. That's classified information, laddie. How did you find that out? You're dressed as a guard, and you're defensive. Hey! Hands off those keys! Why? Those keys are to all the exhibits at the fair. No one can touch them but me. Okay. I can't get to my inventory here, so I guess I can't do anything. Oh wait, yes I can get to my inventory? Here's where I keep my spy gadget. That won't do me any good. No? No vacuum? Man, I spent all that time. Here's where I keep my spy Listening to all the gadgets, and I don't remember any of the ones we don't have. Uh Onion Delight is a cream you spread on bread. Okay. Sure. Okay, well, I know there's a gadget for this. Do you ever think about how many candles you could make if you melted the wax figures? Don't even joke about that. This is my profession you're talking about. Oh my god. It'd be pretty cool to be like, hey, I'm super famous. I'll let you do a wax figure of me. But it's got to be a candle, and I got to, like, slowly melt away. Hey, you! You cannot go in! The Wax Museum is not open yet! Would you believe me if I told you that I had my own television show on satellite called Entering the Wax Museum? Yes, but you may not go in, and don't stand in front of that thermometer. I have to keep a close eye on it. Okay, let's go get the gadget. God, I don't even remember where the gadgets are. Are they out? Do I have to leave and come back? Hi. So what's the difference between a souvenir and a trinket? A souvenir stirs up a memory of some place you've been before, where a trinket is just something you play hide and seek with. Trinkets are so much cheaper than souvenirs. Hide and seek? They're usually sold by the jar. But aren't these souvenirs free? Yes, but they're not free by the jar. I see you really don't know that much about souvenirs. Is that is is what that a thing? Sir? Do you have a stamp on your hand? No. Go I fish is hide and I seek. Do. I better stamp your hand so you can get back into the fair. There you are, sir. Have a nice day. Thank you. Maybe they, maybe hide and seek is just go you know just the same game just a different name. Cause that would, I mean that would, that would be a decent name for go fish really. That's not a thing. Spy fox, I've been waiting for you. Smelly is up to their usual bag of dirty tricks. I see. Walter Wireless, Spy Corps' top tracking bug. Good to be working with you again, Walter. Oh, um, you too, Spy Fox. Though last time I ended up with a fever from being cat scratched. Right. Sorry about that. So you picked up a microfish message from Dotty Dash. That's right, but all I could make out was something regarding an off switch activation code before the signal went dead. I've got to find Dotty Dash, Spy Fox. This must be important. The signal was traced to an exhibit in the fair called We World. Yeah! We World, eh? We World! Like your kind of place. Well, <laughs> Walter, and I'll get you into this We World. I'm in there like <laughs> swimwear. Hey, that's my line. I'm in there like swimwear. 
he's gonna he's gonna take a swim at Wii World. That's the spy heat. Okay. I'll get that and I'll get the what is this one? How does the spy key replicate okay, that's, a cam? That's enough of that. I'll get that that's one. That's the spy key replicator cam. Okay. So I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go into the wax. What did you call me? Okay, can I ask for? Oh, I can ask for onion delight. Stir, stir, stir. Can you prepare onion delight? Why? I won the French Cooking Medal of Honor for my onion delight. Of course I can make it. Well, that is, I could make it. But I only have one onion right now. Can't you make it with the one onion you do have? Absolutely not. Good onion delight must be made with exactly two onions. Obviously, Here, obviously. You can take this one, and if you find another exactly like it... I'd be more than happy to make you some onion delight. I, w I would assume that Wii World is Fetch still called Wii World in the U.S. one, onions, right? Eh? I'll get those for you on the double. I mean, they, they updated the dub, but... I mean, the art was pretty Wii World... Uh, you know, blatantly Wii World. Let me say Wii World a few more times, huh? Wii World, Wii World. LaRoche. Why don't you invent good things instead of evil? I did once, but then I found out that someone else had already invented a vegetable peeler, so I gave up. Now please stay captured. I'm a very busy evil person. Okay, so we can get back into the dog butt's dog mouth. This is such an undignified way for a super stylish secret agent to make an entrance. My escape route is still open. Bye bye. Okay. So the museum was. <laughs> uh. This way? No. It was. No. Oh my god. Have you given massages for a long time? Most of them are pretty short. That's good. Ouch! After that, you should feel like a whole new person. Okay, well, time to go to Wii World. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Okay, well, I can use the... The thing is, I don't know what key I need. But I'm assuming this is so I can use... Oh my god, why can't I get the inventory to show up? Uh, this one. I wonder which key I should take a picture of. Uh... Let's do the vampire key over here. Key six. Okay, I'm going to the museum, which is this thing. Yes. Witness this spy heat the place up with a demonstration of his spy heat. Excuse me, but the temperature has gone up well over 25 degrees. <laughs> oh no! I must call the air conditioning repair place. Oh dear, I'll be on hold for hours. 
That spy heat was certainly a hot tip. Well, we all love a hot tip, right? Now let's go to Wii World. <laughs> Bella Abug, who worked hard for roaches' rights. She worked hard for better housing for roaches who wanted to escape those deadly hotels. Okay, what am I... Thomas Elephant, inventor of the net umbrella, light bulbs painted black, and boots made out of bubblegum, gum boots. After playing in them all day, you could have a stinky snack. Um... I didn't like that one. I don't think I need anything in here, at least not right now. Well, we all love a stinky snack. Um, that's for sure. Guess I can't go back there. Ice rink? Oh, I need the things. Oh, that's how I get the rose. The kids today have no memory of the great skaters. Remember Peggy Hamill and her camel belly looks? No, I don't. Neither do I. Okay, let's go get the the ski sh or the skate shoes. What up, Star Bear? Games have been pretty good. Games have been pretty. We did uh, Pajama Sam two, and uh, Spy Fox one, and now we're on Spy Fox two. Spy Fox is a little talky for me. A lot of a lot of jib jab. Okay, and how the fuck do I get out of here? Not time for that. Now, it's not even that I, I don't really miss the, like, clicking on stuff nonsense. I don't, I only really do that for stream enjoyment anyway. I just feel like there's a lot of talky. You like the puns? Well, yeah, this is the series for you. How the fuck do I get? Is that Winnie the Pooh on the bench? I'll check. This one here? I can't talk to him. Yeah, I'm just impatient with the talking knowing I got six more putt-putts to go through. I can only, I can just only listen for so long, you know? <laughs> At some point, it's all in one ear, out the other. Monkey Island games are very talky. Interesting. No. hard to click on those are the spy skates do we think i would actually like the monkey island games like i i know people want me to play them but do we think i'm gonna like them or i should i just i should just play them they're goose well just because something is goose doesn't mean i'm gonna Please like it go in, Nancy. fun obtuse I'm sure I'll try it at some point. Flip, flip, no, I've never I've never played him, no. I meant to go this way. My brand of humor? Okay. Well, the if it's if they're too obtuse, I mean I can always just people in chat will know, you know, what to do, so I can just ask for help. Um, okay, I'm going, uh, okay, ice rink. Oh, don't I need, uh... That won't do me any good. 
think I need to That's know. The 1996 Big Pig Biathlon Cup, given to the couple who can play winning past the pig while figure skating. It seems Mr. Big Pig has won every year since it began. Okay, no uh, winning past the pig. So graceful. Any any UK people help us out? Winning past the pig is that go fish? It's the 1981 Silver Cup for the best triple mid-air coffee pour, going to the masked she-bear. Pass the pig is another card game, okay. That must be the coveted frozen statue of immobilization. Oh, it's given wow. to the person oh, who wow. can stand on ice skates in the rink without moving for the longest time. Now, I didn't play Day of the Tentacle either. I didn't play, like, any of the old adventure games that people assume I've played. <laughs> I didn't play any of them. Uh, Gothic Vulture, thank you very much for the eight months. Thank you, thank you. Dice game with plastic pigs, and you have to roll them and get them to stand. Okay. 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 Here's where I keep my spy gadgets. Well, I need to get a like a a winning ice maneuver. I like the roses. I throw one only to skaters who do a perfect triple greasy axle. I can gather information about the triple greasy axle ice skate move with this talk balloon. Okay, so someone's gonna have to tell me how to do it. Uh, my other lead is... Uh, well, I got a leaf. That won't do me any good. Oh, do I need to like magnifying glass the leaf? Here's it's got some sort of spy gadgets. It's got some sort of code on it I'm supposed to read. That's not going to do me any good. It says the world's fair. Ah, ah yes, of course. And I need an onion. What do you know about the ice skating move known as the triple greasy axle? I know nothing of skating. Have you asked the ex-skating champion? Oh, fucking duh. She, bear. she is said to be working at the fair somewhere. Will she give me a demonstration? Perhaps, if you ask nicely. <laughs> oh, thanks, dice roll ones. Let's be, let's be a little easy with hints. I'll ask for help when I need it, uh, but thank you. I'll just do that while I'm here. You clone it? You got it! Got what? What to? Clone it! I have this onion. Don't come around to us. It's all good, dice rolls, trouble? really. I think he wants us to clone it, though. Very well, Lee. You do the honors. No, after you. I insist. No, please, after you. I'll do it. Don't touch that! Isn't that amazing? Yes, but does it do french fries? You can always tell when a customer's not going to buy, Lee. You speak the truth, doll. Wait, am I supposed to buy the machine? What are they selling? The machine? Thank you for the bits, Dreamy. A lot of people... Saying Day of the Tentacle is great. I don't know. I don't even know the story of Day of, of the Tentacle. I can imagine the art. Uh, Grim Fan again. I know Grim Fandango. I've never played it. I'm pretty sure I own it. I think someone sent it in. Here's where I keep my spy gun. Okay, let's head. I gotta get the onion delight, and I gotta get the uh skate move. How's my day? My day's been pretty good. Lots of this. Definitely longer than I was expecting. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking, saying let's play another game. Um, 
But hey, here we are. <laughs> uh, okay, no. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Grim Fandango good? I've heard good things. What do you know about the triple greasy axle ice skating move? You look tense. Let me give you a massage. I tell you, love, I did the triple greasy axle as the masked she-bear. In fact, that ice skating move is fully illustrated in the latest edition of the bi-monthly magazine Skaters Weekly, with colour diagrams and everything. Colour diagrams? May I have that? It's all yours, sweetie. Thanks. Okay, now I can do the skate move, and I think I can get the Onion Delight as well. Can we switch back to America? Um, maybe in game three. We did, uh, we did US dub in... Uh, Spy Fox 1, we did UK dub in this one, and in 3, we'll do a, a vote. Uh, okay, I gotta go Ice Rink. Let's do Ice Rink first. Now I'm ready to dig out a few moves I used in Spy Holiday on Ice. Spy holiday on ice. This should do the trick. <laughs> eh. <laughs> eh. I was so good, I burned the skates out. Oh well, I don't need them anymore. You did it, kid. I haven't seen a move like that since Tonya Sardine. What's Tonya Sardine? Is that a reference? Thank you. What a perfect red rose. Oh, Tanya Harding. I thought that's what the the sub reference was. Uh, Toku and Thomas ninety three. Thank you very much for the three months. Was I Tanya good? I didn't see it. Sonia Henny. Okay. I don't know anything about skating or puns or people. Here's where I keep my spy gadgets. <laughs> or names. <laughs> Tuna Harding. Here's where I keep my spy gadget. Yeah, I know. Uh, okay. I got the rose. You liked Itanya? I feel like I heard good things about it, but I can't I can't quite remember. Oh my god. Hello. <laughs> Madam, would this rose be suitable? I thank you. Now, if I could only open that display cage, I would replace that mutant fly trap with this beautiful rose. Sadly, however, I was not given the combination. I see. But you can still have the fly trap. Houdini, I'm not. I'll have to find the combination to that locked display cage. Well... That's not going to do me any good. Oh, can she not read it? Can you read it? That's not going to do me any good. Wait. I think it's a pool. Ooh. Oh, it is a, a magnifying, magnifying glass. glass. Yes, I use it to get close up on the leaves and petals of all my love. That's technically a hint, but I'll allow it because I thought it was a giant. <laughs> it was a giant pool of water. I can see a star. A circle and a triangle on this leaf. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Oh my god. Ah. 
trying to keep my brain awake with star, yeah a circle and a triangle Got it. star circle triangle hmm. chuck some g fuel star it's some kind of combination circle triangle for this display cage i'm gonna i'm gonna splash some g fuel in my face wavy lines i did it oh thank you sir i'll just replace that atrocious fly trap with his beauteous rose. Nicely done. I can dispose of that fly trap for you. How polite. Obviously you're a fox with home training. Yes, I am housebroken, thank you. I piss in the appropriate location. Now let's go to Wee World. Uh, I think it's... Oh, wait, I still don't know what key I need for Wii World. Let's go make Onion Delight. No, I can't do that yet. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a good idea. Everybody take a drink whenever I say Wii World. That's a good idea. It's a fun game. So the idea would be every time I say Wii World, like the words Wii World, uh, back to back, like I would be saying Wii World, like Wii and then World, Wii World. That's when you would take a drink of some some sort when I said Please Wii World. Please do go in, Nancy. <laughs> Someone in the kitchen will die now. Okay. Here's your onions. Here you are. Two big juicy onions. <laughs> Wonderful. How exciting that you should find two so identical. They appear to be exactly alike. Perhaps they're related. They're just onions. It's fine. Oh, wavy lines. I see wavy lines. Maybe I'm psychic. The to gourmet cooking is the careful mixing of only the finest ingredients. Hopefully, we'll have the opportunity to try that one of these days. Voila! Oh, thank you. My breath should now be potent enough to get me past that electronic sniffer and into the secret workings of the giant robot dog. Yep, sure, that sure is why I did that. Spy Fox, good job. We drink onion juice? Not usually, no. Sometimes. Yeah, we gotta go into the dog butt through the foot. I'm <laughs> missing out. I'll keep that in mind. I'll keep that in mind. Well, how about that? Onion Delight did the trick. Now I can come and go as I please. La Roach's breath analyzer was no match for a clever international spy like me. I must be in the belly of La Roach's evil beast. I should have a look around. Yep. Gotta get that attendance up, man. I had been waiting in line for over 12 hours to ride the ride. Famous French pastries of the past. A cream-filled adventure. Well, we all love a cream-filled adventure, that's for sure. 
What up, Jerry? The attendant refused to let me on because I was not tall enough to go through the turnstile. The turnstile. The other taller kids laughed at me. <laughs> I vowed that one day it would be me who would do the laughing. <laughs> I am laughing. <laughs> See, it is I who is laughing. Yes, soon, very soon, the evil dog butt will be fully wound, and without the off switch, there will be no way for anyone to stop me from crushing damn it, the styles and conquering the world. I just hear dog butt now. Okay, let's go up here. Mm, okay. Pushing this button feeds the fly traps. Those fly traps open up so wide I can see their tonsils. Okay, so I need to go in there? Oh. I'll be right back, guy. I, I'll say hi in a second. Excuse me. This way? I can't see anything. I need some. Okay, I need the goggles. Still got your tonsils? I still have my tonsils. I got my wisdom teeth out, but not my tonsils. Oh, there's some goggles. Can I just take them? I mean, they're not really doing anything for them if they're clear goggles. What can I do to get those goggles? Go, hmm. go get them. Welder turns his back on the goggles every time something comes down the conveyor belt. Right. I wonder if I can get him to stay at the conveyor mm. belt longer, so I can get those goggles. Yeah, that can probably. That can probably. I'm sure, if we go upstairs, we can send more boxes down or something. I can't go over there while the guard is watching. Oh my god, a fucking stealth mission? Hmm. That makes the conveyor belt go faster. Oh, he's so smart, dude. I wish I could be a spy and know that switching the switch to fast would make it go faster. But you gotta go to spy college for that kind of knowledge. Uh, uh, uh. I have the goggles. Every weekday stream, you you struggle with the iPad typing. Well, good good thing I have a bunch of weekend streams for you, Lupin. Right? <laughs> Can I take everything else? Like, no. Okay, let's just keep going. Anybody in chat a spy IRL? Okay, I can't do anything else up here. Oh, okay, so Friday's good? Okay, well, there, there, at least there's that. I, I can't... Like, typing on a screen is uh, insane. I feel like for a while there, my phone knew what I was trying to type, and then it just gave up uh, trying to understand me. <laughs> it just It's just always the wrong word. You watch chat on your TV and type on your hmm. phone. No, you watch the stream the on your TV, and type and on your phone. The closing of that door must be controlled by some sort of fingerprint recognition device. I wonder what would happen if... No. No. A picture of the roach. Hmm. Oh, I see. I see, Cosmo. I get it now. Okay, so we 
Let's go get the fingerprint. Room, I bet I have to find a way to get a copy of LaRoche's fingerprint. Chat on TV and stream on your phone. Da, 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 da. Here's where I keep my... Da, da. Okay, I need to give the goggles back. And I need to do that other thing I just said I gotta go do. Oh, the fingerprint deal. I should do that first. I'm probably gonna figure it, forget that faster. Maybe I should turn off autocorrect. I mean, I, the problem is I can't spell, so I kind of need the autocorrect. Uh, we're gonna go... We're gonna go... We're gonna go with this way. Please do go in, Nancy. Be my authentic, poorly spelled self. Maybe I should. Oh gracious me! Oh my! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh! Excuse me. What's the matter? I don't have a single serving utensil for Mr. LaRoche's dinner, and he gets so surly when he has to wait for his food. Well, you know the old saying: surly to bed and surly to rise. Ah, I'm ready to be done with Spy Fox. That's LaRoche's dinner. <laughs> yes, spit roasted boot bayonets. Don't tell me. The sauce isn't. Oh, yes it is. Oh, I think I'm going to be sick. Now where are those forks? Okay. Here you are. It so happens I carry a fork for just this kind of situation. A fork? I've been looking all over for one. I learned in boot camp it pays to have a fork at all times. Thank you. I better get this spit-roasted boot bayonets out to Napoleon LaRoche before he starts acting like a heel. It's only a matter of time now before I have LaRoche's prints. Hmm. Spit roasted boot bayonets, my favorite dish. This boot was made for eating. And oh my god. <laughs> just what I'll do. Oh my god. Pretty soon this boot is going to be inside of you. There it is. Now I'm almost ready to give LaRoche the boot. And I don't mean for dinner. Ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> but still good. <laughs> okay. Flip, flip, flip. I don't even mind the tutorial. It's the puns. I, it's too many puns. I can't, I can't take the puns anymore. I can't take it. <laughs> okay. Now we're going goggles. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad you guys like the puns. I'm glad. It's nice that someone finds uh, joy in my suffering. So, I mean, I, that's the thing is I like bad puns too. And at this, but at the, I'm like the tracking bug here. Gosh. I've got to shut up. Ugh. I believe these are yours, Caped Cod. My lucky goggles. I can't believe my eyes. Ah. <sighs> Everything certainly smells a lot different with these on. You mean looks a lot different, don't you? No, smells a lot different. Where did you find these? Sorry, they've been in my pocket for a while. Huh? <laughs> oh, they stink. Okay, the goggles stink. Gotcha. Maybe they should maybe they should stick to the puns. Can I borrow your dark goggles, Caped Cod? Okay, son. You can have them. I don't need them anymore. That said uh, heck. Not use them for flying out of a cannon though. Thanks. That's good to know. OK. 
Okay. Okay. This game is... Is this game just a long string of inventory puzzles? Yeah. I, aren't, aren't most point-and-click adventures kind of a long string of inventory puzzles, though? That's kind of my impression. As someone who has not pl played a ton of variety, I thought that was just kind of the deal. No, no sliding puzzles yet. No. Just inventory. Some have logic. Well, this would have logic if he wasn't always saying what the next thing you had to do was. <laughs> but he is kind of like, by the way, I have to go do that thing at that place. <laughs> My breath really that stinky still? I like the rocket shoes elevator. That's kind of cool. Oh my god. That's not going to do me any good. Well, what did you think I meant, dude? The only thing that could complete this picture is a plate of pancakes. That one that one went over my head. What Anyone want to chime in on uh, anybody? <laughs> the only thing missing from this picture is a plate of pancakes. The light is bright, but this spy is brighter. He's hungry? <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> it's a room full of Venus fly traps. They're under a big bulb. Hmm. I wonder what LaRoche is up to. Okay. Can I put this one in here? Is it a different room? That won't do me okay, different room. Got the inventory, please. That looks like the perfect place to set this mutant Venus flytrap. That's why I, why I picked it, Spy Fox. Goggles kind of look like eggs, so clearly he needs some pancakes since it's breakfast. Okay. I thought maybe, like, like in the UK, maybe you would... Maybe it's customary to put on really dark-tinted goggles before you eat your pancakes, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> No, I don't need to go this way. I don't know if that's it. <laughs> I don't have a pair of pancake goggles, no, but I might in the future. You hate pancakes. It seems that a mutant Venus flytrap prefers to eat flies rather than off switches for giant evil dogs. You hate 98% of pancakes. What about uh, what about a waffle? How about a waffle? <laughs> Waffles are kind of pancakes. Yeah, they're they're kind of pancakes. I have the off switch. LaRoche's evil scheme is crumbling. Do you not use the same batter? The fools are unaware that by simply entering the fair, they are making possible my plans for world okay. domination. So waffles are like... It's like a pancake, but in one of those brownie tins that always have the edges. The admissions gate. These gears, in turn, rotate a giant underground thread screw that passes below the fair to the base of my cleverly disguised giant robot dog. From there, another series of gears turn and spin the drive shaft, which turns yet more gears that wind up the drive shaft. That will power my Lost reference. Dogbot. You all, everybody. 
Canadian tourist comes through the turnstiles, my evil dog butt will be completely wound. And then, then I will unleash the dog <laughs> I'm sure it's on a the lot. unsuspecting world and conquer it in the name of Smilly. <laughs> oh, La Roche, that is a good one. Okay. So something about like blah 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 blah, you know? Can I just push the button? That won't do me any good. Excuse me. Walter the tracking bug here. I've got to pick up a microfish message from Dutty Dash in Wee World. Well, I gotta get to Wee World, but I don't know what key save. Okay, I can do that. I think. How do I? Good idea. Okay. I gotta figure out how to get to Wii World. I know there's keys. Do I just try the keys over and over again? Bump, 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 bump. Unless I could maybe... Oh, wait. What if I win? Hold on. Why a dog bot? I'm assuming it's because dogs have fleas. Uh, that's my guess uh, as to why they went with dog bot, but I don't really know. <laughs> supper time? What's for supper? I'm wondering if I can see what key he's using, if I can find the place. What a great way to view the fair. Yeah, no shit, dude. Caesar salad, tacos. I have no idea what I'm having. There's nothing like relaxing with a pair of binoculars. I guess so. Ooh, burrito. Okay, this must not be the way to way to go. Yeah, either Domino's or G Fuel. <laughs> oh, a nice G. It's fun to look at things close up. Okay, I'm. I don't think this is the right course of action. And also, if he doesn't shut up, I'm just gonna have to. I'm just gonna have to try something else. Domino's G Fuel? I don't know. Okay, I think... I don't remember exactly how the key thing works. That's my spy key replicator camera. So the one time I actually need him to specify... I, th I think we need to bake the picture? Or... Which I could maybe do at the at the chef place. It's been so long since I heard the description of the of the object. Ooh, instant noodles. I could go for some Migo Rang. Please do go in, Nancy. Do they have binocular telescope in every humongous entertainment game? I don't know about everyone, but they do use it a lot. Flip, flip, flip. Amigo Ring is so good. Stir, stir, stir. That's not going to do me any good. No, we haven't gone to Wii World yet, because I need the I need the key. I your oven, please? Sorry. Insurance regulations strictly prohibit the use of this oven by anyone other than a trained chef. 
You don't look anything like a chef. Okay, so I need to like update my ID. Chef Brutal Foods G Fuel recipes? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I mentioned it earlier, but I did film a Brutal Foods yesterday. It's not going to be as uh, none as high concept as, as the last Valerie. one, but it should be fun. Wait. Rest. Oh, is there no chef here? I thought for sure. Cloud. Waitress. Okay, so that's not it. Let me go. Uh, I'm glad you liked the last the last one. I really liked working on the last video. And I'm gonna make more of those. They just gotta be spaced out because man, that was a lot of work. That's the spy gadget. I know, dude. I've used it like four times at this point. Scared of what's next. Well, they're gonna be. They're not gonna be as intense for a little, bit. a little bit. I'm gonna make some more, uh, some more basic episodes. How does the spy key replicator cam work again, Professor Quack? You take a picture of the key. You okay, want so you do. Then bake the picture of the key, which will shrink down and harden into an exact duplicate of the key you took the picture of. It can only hold one picture or flea market. at a time, but you can take Pretty a fun. picture over another picture. If you bake a picture into the wrong key, just... I have found some new thrift stores semi-recently. Oh my god, shut the fuck up. Okay. Hold on, let's see if the... Professor Quack, what does it mean when the ID machine does this? I believe it means that the machine is broken. It looks like that machine is permanently out of service. It's a good thing I was able to make my ID card before it broke. Okay. Okay. So I need to look like a chef, I guess? Yes. <laughs> yes. Chef hat. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck. That's not where I wanted to go. Here's where I keep my spy gadgets. Okay. I think I have all the gadgets. Am I missing a gadget? Check one more time. Or check one time, because I didn't uh, check. I'm trying to think of if I've seen a, a chef hat or a cooking apron or anything chef looking. How does this termite grenade work again? No, Professor no, no, Quack? no, no. Shut it. No, no, I don't want to hear you. That's the termite grenade. Tell me again how this alarm deactiv- Okay, alarm deactivator. Okay, that's the only one I don't have. Have a good guess where I need to go? Well, I don't. <laughs> good for you. <laughs> I'll figure it out or I'll cave and ask for help. <laughs>
Okay, <laughs> saying I've seen where the sh no hints, no hints. <laughs> I'm so close. Spy Fox was the toughest for you? Yeah, they're, uh... They're, uh... For the oldest age range. Oh, that's not a chef hat, I don't think. Is it? I think that might just be hair. I, I can't really tell. Yeah, my brain is is fried here's at this where, point. Here's where my notes go. Yeah. I use the talk balloons. Oh wait, no, that's it's not going to be up here. I'm just I'm just gonna go around and check places I've been, but oh oh I actually I bet I know where it is. I bet I know where it is now. Chat flexing their giant brains. It's hard having a chat so smart. They are they always know what I gotta do. Yeah, see, when, when Awesome was six, they watched Skibbity Toilet and Subway Surfers at the same time. That's how you get, I mean, that's how you get so smart. Uh, I can't compete with that. That's not good. Wolfgang Duck, an innovative chef known for his imaginative marriages of fresh local ingredients with his own version of what's tasty today. I like to cook. And I'm an imaginative fox. A chef's outfit just might come in handy. I'll just take this. Learn to multitask, young. <laughs> That's what we're learning. That's what we're learning from watching five videos at once on TikTok. It's we're learning how to multitask. <laughs> Okay, chef outfit. Please do go in, Nancy. Dude, every every humongous entertainment uh, hero is a thief. That's a quality they all share. Flip, flip, flip. Should put Subway Surfer. I don't. I don't know what Subway Surfer is. Is that a game? Flip, flip, flip. Flip, flip, flip. I get it. Flip, flip, flip. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh. Oh, it's like Temple Run. Me. Okay. I didn't see you come in, Chef Wolfgang. What a pleasant surprise. You know, if you haven't watched uh, in Avenue Five, my, it has been a, a pretty interesting take on uh, food inside a giant mechanical overstimulating. Dog. Yes. Well, of Social course, media, season two chef, specifically. You are welcome to make use of my kitchen. That's very generous of you. I believe I... But you may not use my wooden spoons. The purple ones. They are mine and I need them. Of course. How foolish of me. You know, of course, that too many master chefs spoil the broth. Chef Diner, I can honestly say that compared to you, I am merely... Just let me use the oven! Oh my god! Wolfgang! You are such a wag! <laughs> such a you wag. Too kind. Too kind. <laughs> stir, stir, stir. <laughs> uh, <laughs> listen, I saved all the cows in the world. Someone in the kitchen with amazing. The key goes into the oven full. They should let me use the oven. Tiny, much like my aunt Delia's spotted dick. Spotted dick. 
I think my I think my ears are going now too. Just in case I need I don't feel like I'm listening no good. But yeah, it's a food. Oh, uh, okay. Well, Spy Fox said dick. You heard, you heard it here. Here's where I keep my spy gadgets. Okay, let's see if we can get into the Wii world. Oh wait, these are the keys to Wait, so can I not go into Wii World at all? The door is locked. Oh. Is this the key to Wii World? Where do you think you're going? That exhibit is closed. It's all right. I have a key. Oh well. If you've got a key, then go right in. Hey, must be the wrong key. This isn't the right key. I'll just put this back in the spy key replicator cam in case I have to take another picture and bake it. I'm sure there's probably a way that I figure out what the right key is, but... Here we go. Which key should I take a picture of? Key five. Oh, it would be two, because it's got the giant fucking two over the door. <laughs> uh, I wonder which key. Key two. Well, hey, we're going to Wii World. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's almost six hours. Oh, my God. I was feeling it when we hit five. <laughs> <laughs> when we hit five, I was like, uh, what, what did I do? <laughs> okay, here we go. Please do go in, Nancy. Played all the long games. Is, is, is Spy Fox 3? I would assume it's about this long. Oh yeah, there's definitely a button to skip the animation transition, but... I mean, I we're playing the game here, you know. Here's where I keep my. Would it be okay if I used your oven? It's really. This quite is the game. That oven is a highly sophisticated piece of kitchen equipment. Only trained. Oh my God. And I'm afraid you don't look at all like a chef. Someone What's my longest stream? Uh, it's got to be one of the Uncharted streams that I did, like ages and ages ago. Uh. Perhaps you'd like to share one of the many high points of your career as a chef. Well, once I swallowed a whole container of yeast. I suppose that's one ah. way to get a rise out of the chef. Flip, flip, flip. Stir, stir, stir. I want to go to Wii World! Amazing. The key goes into the oven full size and comes out tiny, much like my Aunt Delia's spotted dick. Someone in the kitchen with Dinah! Flip, flip, flip! Yep. <laughs> yep. Uh... <laughs> I just want to go to Wii World. <laughs> yeah, I think the subtitles are the US lines and the, the dub is the UK lines. Oh, no, no, no. I clicked the key. I can't get in. The door is locked. I know. I know, Spy Fox. Where do you think you're going? That exhibit is closed. It's all right. I have a key. Oh, well. If you've got a key, then go right in. Ah, the right key. Excellent. See? I told you I had a key. Don't say that that loud, dude. 
It was the most suspicious way he could have entered that building. Okay, well I gotta go get the I gotta go get the alarm thing, huh? Because this is gonna go off. This opening is too small to get through. It'll take someone much smaller than myself to get through. Well, at least you tried. <laughs> at least you gave it a shot. Maybe I could fit in there. Ah, no. Actually, no, I'm a thousand times too big. There you go, Walter. You've got to find Dotty Dash the microfish. You can count on me, Spy Fox. I don't know why we need to find Dotty Dash. I have no clue. Oh, I have to be I have this to be car him. Is my ticket to the dream house. This is the only way to travel. Oh, this is cool though. I like this. Do I have an infantry? No. Ooh. That's pretty good. Uh... This is Walter Wireless reporting from Wii World. Yep. Can I not just like jump up here or? Oh. Oh, I see. You okay. Design floor discovered in Dreamhouse. What a shocking waste of valuable attic space. What does this one do? Well now, things are starting to look up. I've been told that it's impolite to stare, but in this case I'll make an exception. <laughs> The refrigerator is now in cold storage. <laughs> this button opened that door. Oh, see, I like that one. That one's good. <laughs> My instinct tells me I'm getting closer to Microfish's location. Okay. I can open and close the top drawer with this button. But will it sort my socks? <laughs> and the 74 million penny question is... Who invented the retractable TV? <laughs> this button opens and closes the bottom drawer. So near, but so far. Oh. I see. Typically, I would open and close the drawer by hand. Yeah. Calm, cool thinking pays off. Film. Don't can't fleas like jump really high? Why am I using the fucking stairs? Around and around and down. This is Walter Wireless. Oh right, because it's not it's not polite to stare. I forgot. Eureka! Walter, I'm glad you found me. I've been on surveillance here in Wee World searching the airwaves for anything suspicious. I intercepted a smelly message that has something to do with an activation code. My equipment went on the blink before I could get the whole message to you and Spycore, but I think it's really important. I'm sure it is, but if it was a radio message, how do you know it smelled bad? Not smelly. Smelly. The Society for Meaningless, Evil, Larceny, Lying and Yelling. Oh, right. Our evil nemesis. So what is the rest of the message I need to transmit to Spyfox right away? Of course. The activation code is pineapple, grape, orange. Got it. Walter Somebody Wiles remember that for Spy me. Fox. Please stand by. Come in, Spy Fox. I read you loud and clear, Walter. Did you find Dotty Dash? I did. 
I'm going to transmit the activation code Dotty intercepted via the spy watch. Stay tuned. Pineapple, grape, orange. I've got it, Walter. Good. I can't job, remember that. Dottie. Thanks, Spy Fox. The rest is up to you now. Good luck, Spy Fox. I'm supposed this to remember three Walter fruits. It's too, it's too many. It's too many. Got the off switch activation code. Now that LaRoche is in for it. Soon, my diabolical plan will reach its fiendish fruition. It will be unstoppable for who or what can possibly stand up to the onslaught of a big giant mechanical dog robot. My I will say, thanks, Mike. The machine of menace will march across the surface of the earth and claim it in my name. People will shout my name to the skies. Leroge! 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 Hey, we hit six hours, everybody. Congratulations. And I will say, yes, what is it? Oh, the world leaders will sit up and beg for mercy. It is quite an evil plan, no? Yeah. <laughs> It sure does take a long time to explain a very simple uh, plan. Okay. Oh. I didn't even realize. This is where they put the fun in the game. It was on the watch the whole time. Fun. I can't stop playing things from space. But I'll still get my work done. Really? Oh, how do I? You guys just want to do this for another six hours? On his Apple Watch. You get different weapons, though. That's kind of cool. And they need more puns, like. I need some more space between the asteroids. I've heard of spaceships, but this is some space shit. Governor? Okay, well, that was good. Space shite. <laughs> Okay, so now I... That's not going to do... Now I, uh... You know, Wii World didn't have as much Wii as I was expecting. Um... So now I got the code, and I've got the button. It's the off code for the evil dog bot. Yeah. And I have the button for what I thought was the... That won't do me any good. Uh, hold on. Let's fun. Please stand by. Let's see what? Uh, oh my I God! I still need to install the off switch and get past the fingerprint recognition device. I'm all dressed in spy gadgets and no place to go. Well, the dish ran away with it, so it can't be such a bad thing. Cute and mysterious. Facts. Monkey penny out. So I need a spoon? Mobile Wait. Command Center. That confused me even more. Okay, so I'm supposed to install it. So I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna explore the... Dog bot, right? It's gotta be in the, the dog place. I have the spoon? I don't have a spoon. Oh, I do have a spoon, huh? 
Then I have to stop saying Wii World, you're out of alcohol. Oh yeah, I forgot about, uh... I forgot about the drink every time I say Wii World. I hope you guys are keeping up with that. We world, we world, we world, we world, we world. We world, we world, we world, we world, we world. <laughs> Go, Ronald. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm not asking for help, but I'm okay. Here it is. I was like, "Where is the thing? Where is the? Th where do I install the thing?" I'll do one more save just in case. I guess I can miss. Maybe I can miss the whatever. I'm gonna title this one "We World." We World. We World. We World. I think I spelled "We World" right. It spelled like "We World." Let's give this a try, shall we? Why have the whole hand there? Says, a spoonful of the roach's fingerprint helps the steel door go down. Why? It would be the full hand. It's not a fingerprint, it's got the full hand there. Apple. That should put La Roach off a bit. Apple. Now, all I have to do banana is grape. set the off switch activation code. Hands have fingerprints. I, I agree. What I'm saying is the, the we only got the thumbprint. We only got like, as far as I know, we only got a, a thumbprint from the thing. It's the off code for the evil dog bot. Pineapple, grape. That must be where I need to set the off switch activation code. Ah. Ah. At last, the off switch is in its place, and the activation code is set correctly. I like this sound effect too, good one. The one millionth customer has come through the turnstile. The dog butt is now fully operational. Let's hit it! I don't think this is a good sign. Did we not push the button? Did we push the button? I hope LaRoach has earthquake insurance. I hope they haven't s stepped any children to death. Oh, those people are dead. Dead. It's like Animorphs all over again. Death and destruction. Everybody's dead. M -m 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 must get to off switch! Take your fucking hand out of your pocket, you asshole. Bad dogbot. Sit. What? Spy <laughs> You called? La Roach, your evil days are over. I don't think so. The sun has not yet set. I should go in after him. That LaRoach won't get away from me. I wonder what he's up to now. That spy fox thinks he is so smart. I have one more trick to play before I make my escape through the sewer pipes. 
This computer program will set off a million toasters hid in the dogbot. Together, the toasters will simultaneously burn a million pieces of toast, leaving a large, dark cloud hanging over the fair for the next ten months. Much like uh, Skegness. Oh no, there is a bug in the program! Ah, I must check my variables and track down all the stray pixels! That dastardly LaRoche won't get away with that. Not with Spy Fox on his trail. All right, all right. Uh... I'll see that LaRoche gets a nice suite at the Spy Jail Hotel. What do I have? I've got goggles, I've got... Here's where I keep my sp- That's not going to do me any good. That hammer is too far to reach from here. Bye-bye. Um... I'll just push this. I think that made the sewer pipe move. No! No! That spanner could come in handy. I have to break through that glass to get it. Ouch! I have to find something other than my shoulder to break that glass. The termite grenade's that not gonna work. Hmm. Does this always move it? Okay, so it always moves it that way. Okay, we gotta get him to spy jail. I think that made that pipe move. You know what? I, I, I actually think that that made the pipe move. I think that clicking the button uh, made the pipe move. Save, I can do that. You know, I think saving my game saved my game. Okay, there we go. We're all linked up for spy jail. It's time for a nap. <laughs> it is. I'm actually going to go mow the lawn after this, so that, that's going to be fun. This ball peen hammer looks interesting. It might come in handy. Well, we all love a ball peen hammer, don't we? Could have used this at Wii World. Here we go. Couldn't it have just been a hammer? Like, it was very specific. I've got it. Ball peen. You know? Ball peen. It's like when they named this streaming service Peacock. Peacock. Everyone loves a good Peacock stream, there. you know? That moved the sewer grate out of the way. It's a real bird, yeah. And a ball peen hammer is a real hammer. That doesn't mean you have to say it. <laughs> I just don't think Peacock is a very good name for a streaming service. I don't have anything against Peacocks themselves. It's down the drain for you, LaRoach. What? It's down the drain for you, LaRoach. Uh oh. Ah! 
I understand that, Cosmo. I understand. Maybe. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. See, I was making a joke that that P and cock are two like wiener words. I understand why it was named Peacock, but thank you. Thank you for the explanation. For doing such yes, highbrow humor, exactly. Napoleon LaRoche, Spybox, you have my eternal gratitude. I had excellent help on this case, Chief. Ah, yes. I present to you the Grand Golden Family Approved Fortified Supreme Certificate of Excellence. Thanks, Chief. It was all in the line of duty. Well, I'll turn this up a little bit. So this is pretty good. I think we can all agree this is the best uh, humongous entertainment game. Uh-huh. Third, Spy Fox is way better. Those that have opinions, because I don't really have Spy Fox opinions, honestly. I, I only am very familiar with the first one, and even then, only kinda. What do you, like, what, uh, if you like the Spy Fox, which, are, which is the best one? It seems like a lot of people do like the, the third one. favorite was second i probably like would have liked this one more if i hadn't just played the first one and was also streaming for six hours i feel like it probably <laughs> colored my uh uh opinion on this playthrough for the deductive reasoning and daring deeds displayed in disabling the dangerous and destructive evil dogbot for saving the world's fair from total devastation and for defeating the deceptively, dastardly, and Dude, decidedly Dude, why even, why even get an award that long? No one's gonna read it. I awarded this certificate of accomplishment. Accomplishment. Along with Spycore's highest honors and unyielding gratitude. Signed by Spycore's chief, and stamped with the spy cores wax. I don't think I can print excellence. it now. Yeah, no print, no print button. Well, that was Spy Fox. So why don't you try and find Pep? Where's he at? Is he at one, two, and three? Oh, I gotta stand up, huh? Hold on. You drew me as a humongous protagonist in the Discord? Oh, I'll look for that. Okay, so as I make my way through the humongous wheel, if you're not, uh, haven't been here yet, we're looking for Pep behind door number one, two, or three. You can vote by typing in the chat, and if we find him, I'll give five subs to the community. Baldine. Oh my god. Okay, we're we're going one. We're going one, it looks like. Yeah, we're going one. Did you guys vote one because it's got a little gap there? I didn't even notice that there's a little gap on the door. Okay, door number one is Oh there he is! I didn't know that that's where he was at. Door number two was the oil can and number three the wagon wheel good job guys I think that's two out of two out of three which is pretty good uh, let me well, hold on here they come Uh, congratulations to 
SC Broski, Cyber5252, Rusty Corgi, June K, and Carrie1995 on getting those subs. And we are done with Spy Fox 2. So what, if we keep up, if we manage to keep up with like three or four games, I think the Putt-Putt games are going to go fast. Putt-Putt goes to the moon and Putt-Putt saves the zoo are going to be really short spin again. Oh, I hate, I'm, you can tell I'm too tired because I considered it. I took a second and I thought about it. No. <laughs> I would spin it if I could guarantee I was getting a Putt-Putt. But I can't guarantee that. So we'll save it for Friday. Yeah, no balls. I, all I have is the ball peen hammer. Uh, but we'll continue the humongous wheel on Friday. Thank you so much for hanging out. This was uh, a very fun stream. Got a little frazzled in the middle. Got a little cranky at the end. But hey, that's, that's just the signs of a nice, eventful, long uh, stream. I will be back on Friday. It's worth noting that uh, the I am done with the Animorphs Book Club. We finished the books. So it should be a, a more regularly timed stream. Um, I know for a while for Friday I was uh, coming on pretty late. Um, but I should be here a regular time Friday. I stuck with it, yeah. Okay, but I'm going to go mow the yard. So thanks, guys, for hanging out. I had a lot of fun. Uh, thanks, chatters, for chatting with me. Lurkers for lurking. VOD watchers for VOD watching. I'm excited to continue this on Friday. I, I feel like we're probably going to get through all the games. So, well, not on Friday, but... Uh, I will see you then. Have a great rest of your week. Uh, what time zone? I'm in uh, Pacific time. And I'll try... And, I'll try and, on Friday, I'll try and get live before noon. Sometime before noon, my time. Uh, all right, guys. I'll see you on Friday. Bye-bye. And now, folks, it's time to say goodnight. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night. Good night.